It's here, the only radio talk show made specially for all workers of the call center industry. Call Center Radio. It aims to become a platform for conversation about anything related to the call center industry. We'll have different guests every week to discuss some tips, advices, and share inspiring stories of BPO employees. Call Center Radio. Call Center Radio. Hosted by N.A. Buendia, Frank Rizzo, and Tanya Sempron. Every Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m. Only here at DZRJ, 8 10 a.m. H.R.I. Media, ang himpila ng bawat Pilipino. Good morning mga ka-teammates! It's a beautiful Sunday! Tayo po ay magti-team huddle na naman sa dalawang oras ng inspiration, motivation, and empowerment na hatid sa inyo ng inyong mga ka-teammates sa BPO. This is the bigger, the bolder, and the longer call center radio season 2. And muli sa pamumuno po ng aming founder and producer, walang iba kundi ang voice master of the Philippines, Sir Pocholo de Leon Gonzales. Kami po ang inyong mga ka-teammates. I am your call center vlogger. My name is M.A. Buendia. And I am your events host, ka-teammate, the terrific host, Frank Rizzo. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And wala po ang aming ka-teammate na si Tanya. She's currently sick, so get well soon, girl. Pero meron po kami mga kasamang guest co-host for today. We have, nag-guest siya sa amin nung uh, season 1. Yes. Ito yung pinakamagandang episode, actually. Mm-hmm. We have in the booth, Marie San Luis. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much, M.A. and Frank, for inviting me today. And uh, to everyone, and Tanya, get well soon, girl. So we like to um, um, say to everyone that we are currently live over DZRJ 8, 10 a.m. And we are currently online streaming on www.ihtrimedia.com. Please like us on Facebook and with our 15,000 likers on Facebook slash Media. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Media, And you can contact us through our text line or through Viber on 0939-9143-988. And our hotline is 412 0288. Wow, lakas maka UK accent, ano? Yes. <laughs> British accent. <laughs> oh, 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 good morning, everyone, especially to our avid listeners, not just in Metro and Mega Manila, but also to our listeners in the provincial um, stations because we are live simulcast sa DYME Masbate 107.1 Power FM Puerto Princesa Palawan mm-hmm. and 97.1 Wow FM Northern. Rojas Northern Palawan Good morning Good morning And dun po sa mga Hindi makarelate Kasi ngayon sa Metro Manila Ay super gloomy ng Sunday Very mm-hmm. rainy season Yes I actually came f- I-, I was in Tagaita yesterday And Musta? it's really zero visibility Wala ka talaga makita Full headlights on Oo Grabe Kaya nga kanina na- Napapansin nyo Kasi papalapit na nga ang Pasko diba? So napakahaba ng gabi So <laughs> Kanina Tidak mo ngayon palang nakikita yung Pero hindi pa nga eh Parang wala pang araw Actually Pero ngayon, uh, episode na to, ngayong Sunday po mga ka-teammates, pag-uusapan natin ng isa sa mga tabu topics in the call center. Yes. So pag-uusapan natin ng mga call center hopper. Nahirapan ako maghanap ng guest, kaya nag-announce na kami sa aming Facebook page, Call Center Radio PH. By the way, if you haven't liked that yet, please go ahead and visit our official page on Facebook kasi kumukuha kami doon ng mga topics or naghanap din kami ng mga guests. So if you are interested to be part of the show, please go ahead and like and follow us. So yun nga, uh, speak Speaking of call center hopper, so syempre, alamin natin today kung ano ba yung pinagmumulan or ano ba yung reason kung bakit sila nagja-job hopping. Diba? Hindi lang naman to para dun sa mga nagtatrabaho sa call center or sa BPO but in any industry. Kasi lalo na ngayon na napakaraming demands at napakaraming mga nag-open na companies and gusto rin natin matutunan kung um, ano yung magagawa ng company para ma-retain yung mga talents or yung mga employees nila. So, we have two guests right now in the booth. We have Nicole Bunyao and Gregory Pascal. Let's get know them first. Hello, good morning guys. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So, first of all, let's uh, talk to Nicole uh, Bunyao. Please uh, give us a background. I mean, how did you get started in the, the BPO industry? Okay, so I started probably around 2013. Um, 
actually nag-start ako mga 17 years old pa lang ako, mag-18 ako eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga nabuntis ako, so alam nyo na, pag ganoon kailangan mo magrabaho. So after nung nag-apply ako, ang um, first nag-apply ako sa EGS, so luckily, nakapasok ako. Mm-hmm. And knowing na 17 pa lang ako, kasi parang may waiver at ang binigay sa akin. Mm-hmm. Since um, within the year naman, mag-18 na ako. So nag-stay ako doon mga 5 Five months? Five months. <laughs> five months. <Yeah. laughs> uh-huh. Nag-stay ako five months kasi gusto ko talaga yung company. Mm-hmm. Kaso nga lang, may family problem kailangan, ano. So, after nun, doon ako nag-start mag-hop na mag-hop. Uh-huh. Oo, kasi parang iniisip ko, kailangan sa susunod na company, gusto ko yung katulad nung environment ng EGS. Yeah, you've been comparing it na doon sa first company mo. So, after nun, after EGS, Tel- teletech ata mm-hmm. Teletech sa Fairview Kasi si mami taga Bulacan So uh-huh. yun ang pinakamalapit Sa Fairview alam ko ang ka-account ko din is Parang Comcast ata Tapos naglast lang ang mga 2 weeks Ganun mm. Ay, <laughs> 2 weeks Ay, <laughs> Pero nakuha ko yung <laughs> Nakuha ko yung ATM ko In fairness Sumeldo ko mga Sumeldo ko naman ako dahil <laughs> Unang sahod pala Kalahati lang Yes <laughs> Pero at least nakaunang sahod na siya So pwede nang lumipat Pangpuhunan ng panibagong company Totoo <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko alam, sabi ko, kaila- kasi yung, alam niya naman, pag sa, sa Fairview, kailangan yung malaking-malaking floor, hindi, yung parang, pagka 15 minutes break mo, mag-iyosi ka, hindi talaga kakayanin, girl, kasi ang haba uh-huh. ng lalakarin. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, parang, sabi ko, parang hindi ito yung company. So, yun yung reason mo? Oo. Kasi hindi ka makabuelo. <laughs> hindi ako makabuelo, parang haba. Pagdating ko dun sa may elevator, wala, natapos na yung break ko. Uh-huh. Tapos after nun, um, lumipat ako, nag-QC naman ako, since may bahay kami dito sa Santa Mesa, nag, um, ano ito, Eastwood ako. Mm-hmm. Um, acquire. Nag-acquire ako, so day shift. Along siya? Ito ba yung along siya na? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Um, Eastwood talaga. Ah, okay. Sa Eastwood. Okay. Parang ano siya, Australian account siya. Tumagal ako dun mga three months. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Ay, okay. Iba. Medyo from the two weeks. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Pero hindi pa nare-reach yung one wow. year goal, eh, no? Yung oh. one year. Okay, okay. Sige. So, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Nag- hindi ko talaga siya nahanap. Hindi ko nahanap yung ano. Kasi inahanap ko yung welcoming committee ng acquire na meron ang EGS. Mm-hmm. After three months, siguro naghanap ulit ako. Transcom naman. Okay. Along, <laughs> sa tiende sitas ba to? Or, tiende. Yeah. Sa tiende. Tumagal ako doon five months. O, oh, bongga, five okay. months na. The reason naman kung mata ko umalis, yeah. hindi ako nakapasa ng um, nesting period. Ang tagal ng training ninyo, five months, ha? Kasama yung ano, yung nesting. <clears throat> uh-huh. Ah, okay. Kasama siya. Uh-huh. Ayun, ayoko umalis. Iniyakan ko yun. Kasi na politiko ako. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung one of the reasons din kung bakit yung mga agents hindi tumatagal din sa isang company kasi may mga power tripper talaga. Yeah. Later, we will uh, tackle mm-hmm. kung ano yung mga reasons mm-hmm. kung ano yung kung bakit ba umaalis. Diba? After oh. ng Transcom, did you move pa sa oh, iba? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Saitel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ilan pa ba yung nasa listahan natin? Sampu. <laughs> Sampu kasi talaga siya. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Sampu talaga siya. Binilang ko siya kagabi. Sabi ko, kailangan... Feeling ko mga lima lang naman. Nag-call center tour si ate. So, after ng transcom... Nag-sitel te- Yung sitel. And then, af- uh, ganun katagal din doon sa sitel? Eight months. Ay, iba. Na regular ka, actually. Oh. Actually, hindi. Kasi pala absent ako. Mm-hmm. Pero di ba dapat pag nag-six months na regular? Automatic dapat six months is regularization. Paano yung naging process? Ano ito? yun? Um, parang dahil madami kang absent. Kasi buntis ako nun eh. Ah. So, kaya tumagal ako kasi may mat leave, di ba, ng mm-hmm. month. Feeling ko doon lang ako tumagal. Ah. <laughs> okay. Because, may leave uh-huh. ng Two months, months lang. Two months yung leave. Oo, two months okay. yung leave. Okay, I see. Pero na-hire ka nun, buntis ka? Buntis sa ako mga 5 months ata na, or 6 months ako na hire ng Cytel. Okay, so moving forward from moving Cytel. Moving forward, um, CVG. Converges, ano to? Uh, Alabang. Makating Alabang. Okay. Alabang. Kasi lumipat ako Las Pinas. So sa CVG, tumagal ako 4 months. Four dahil months. sa compensation naman. Okay. Maganda sana. Maganda yung friends, yung trainer, lahat. As in, kudos. Pero yung yung salary talaga, may mga um, anta to delayed, ganyan. Yeah. Sab- issue nga nila yan, yung sa, sa CVG. Kulang, ganyan, na, dispute. Ano, pero we will, ano, we will talk about sa mga ganun mga benefits, yung mga compensation, yung mga ano. Kasi, uh, nag-iiba-iba rin siya depende rin sa client, depende sa account, depende rin sa kung saan site, di ba? So, after ng CVG, saan uh, ka naman? <laughs> Uber. 
Ah, uh, SMORA. Yes. Uh-uh. Okay. SMORA. Uh, four months, tumagal ako. Four months, oo. In-house na siya, pero... In-house na. Okay naman. Okay naman, kasi doon, dahi wala talagang dress code. Meron nga doon, nakikita ko, pupasok, Naka naka-jersey lang. Uh, ah, yeah. oh. uh, uh, uh. At saka, kabalita ko, merong ano, uh, Uber credits. Totoo. Yeah. Um, 12 or 15 ata. Trips. 200 pesos. Ooh. Yeah, wow. Mm-hmm. Kasi naging guest natin si Macron, ito man daw, yung author mm-hmm. nung... Ano ba ito? Taga-call center ako. Okay. Uh, he's actually from Uber. Mm. Uh, tsaka marami akong mga friends na nire-refer ko doon kasi sabi nila, it's an in-house company. Mm-hmm. Actually, guys. kaya din matunog yan sa amin kasi nga nasa floating status ako, no? Kasi my, my the <laughs> other agents na nasa floating status bin-applying to a lot of call centers and yeah. Uber daw, well, grab, they are hiring. Yeah. Oh. Yun, yung mga, yun yung mga trending talaga. Google, yung mga ganyang mga mm-hmm. account, parang May pakain. Uh, <laughs> May pakain si Mayora doon. Oh, at saka pamasay. Pamasay pagkain. Doon lang naman napupunta usually yung allowance I, natin. I know. Tama, so, so after ng Uber, why did you leave Uber in the first place? Napolitiko ulit ako. Tsaka okay. yung mga Sensitive taong... Sensitive ka masyado? Okay. Hindi yung mga taong, ano, mga taong nakapaligid sa akin. Medyo toxic talaga. Lahat kasi sila um, galing ng company na TL na, mm-hmm. OM na. Tapos parang ako, syempre agent ako. na napopolitiko parang ganun mm, in terms mm, okay. after non e-performax naman ako okay sa ang mm-hmm. e-performax data dito sila sa Makati pero lumipat na sila dito sa may Pasay may okay. sarili na silang building tumagal ako 2 months mm-hmm. kaso wala naman kasing kontrata dun eh ang e-per kasi parang ahahasain ka for months muna for GCMA parang communication skills bago ka ibigay okay. sa um, isang account. So doon ka palang ma-considered na hire? Hire, oo, totoo. Oh, even okay. even yung nesting mo, yung magko-calls ka sa isang account, wala ka pang kontrata doon. Pag nakapasa ka pa doon, saka ka lang ma- mabibigyan ng kontrata. That's kind of weird. Isn't that kind of legal? Because you're only yeah. employing these people, pero paid kayo during that Paid time. naman at walang tax. Yun ang maganda. Uh, walang tax. tax. That's, that's questionable. Very, oh my God. And that's the first time that I've heard this, na, mm-hmm. na hindi ka pa employed parang Ah, uh, hindi ko hindi, hindi ko alam eh. Naganyan ang setup. Usually kasi there will be call centers that would train you for free. Yes. yes. Right? Uh-huh. They wouldn't pay you like for a month or maybe like two months and then after that they will employ you after that free training. Mm-hmm. Pero to be in that situation that's a whole other story. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pero hindi na hindi pa nagka-count yung tenure mo doon the, the moment that you stepped in, di ba? Ang maganda lang din sa kanila, um during training, every other day binibigyan ka ta- binibigyan ka nila ng pera. Um, oh. As in cash yeah. Para hindi ka Wala kang reason Para mag-absent Na wala akong pera right. Every other day May 800 ka Ay, oh, bongga. Oh, oh. Ay, parang construct. Tuesday, construe. Thursday. Hmm, mm, pak. Construction works oh, oh. for everyday may envelope. Oh, oh. Totoo, totoo yun. Uh-huh. Pero na-hire ka after nung two months of training? Oo. Oh, oh, na- Ay, actually parang kasi sprint yung accounting. Ah, okay. So after, DSL or ano hindi ba tong... Hindi ko alam, para siyang all around ka na. Direct TV, parang gano'n. Or, parang gano'n. Parang gano'n, di ba? Mm-hmm. So sprint yung account. Tapos sabi ko during training, mga December na yun, mag- magka-Christmas na, parang ayoko, ayoko. ko yung sprint kasi mm. toxic yung account nakita ko yung mga comments sabi ko sabi ng mga friends ko dahi bakit ka dyan nagpapunta may mga ibang ano naman may mga paypal naman dyan ang account yun nga alam mo kapag ganyan pag nagtatanungan yung mga agents yes. um pag nag, nagtatanungan na yung mga agents sa uh, about sa kung saang account ko ba nag-work tapos pag sinabi mo yung ganito sasabihin uh-huh. bibigyan ka na nilang heads up it's either na parang oh lumipat ka na dyan or toxic dyan or masyadong mahirap dyan or walang growth dyan or kahit pa sabihin mo lang yung project uh, parang may mga ganong heads up pag ganito no? minsan napapara na yung agent minsan hindi na umaabot sa floor <laughs> Ganyan ba yung mga reasons mo rin? Kasama yun dun sa mga reasons kung bakit ka umalis kasi nandun yung sinasabihan ka na iba. No? Oo, totoo. Kasi syempre, mas tenured sila sa akin. So, mm-hmm. once na sinabi nila, ay, may hiring dito. Tapos sasabihin ko, ay, hiring sila. Ano, gantong account, ganto Huwag ka na dyan, toxic dyan, toxic dyan. Hindi ka tatagal dyan. Mm-hmm. All around agent ka, superhero ka dyan. Tapos yung incentives, ang baba. Parang, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So, after naman nung, ano, may isa pa ba? Ay, dalawa pa. pa. Dalawa, dalawa pa. <laughs> Ayan. At, at, at nakakatawa kasi ang dami nakatutok ngayon sa ating oh, live oh. session at sila ay nakaka-relate. Mm-hmm. Okay? Kasi name drop kung name drop kung <laughs> Anyway, again, uh, ang show po ay The Views and Opinions Expressed by Our Guests do not necessarily reflect the state or the, the views and opinions by the, the host, the management, and uh, the network. So, ano naman, nakalipas naman na sila and then parang heads up lang dun sa mga ano. Oh, things, could, things might have changed yeah. na already. Yes, very mm. good. Um, uh, b- the reason why uh, as well uh, um, uh, no, uh, 
in ka- camera talaga no na- napapakita natin yung guests natin because they are proud that these things uh, happened to them yeah Be- yes because this uh, will actually turn into a very good conversation later on yeah. i know diba tsaka yun nga para sa mga nanonood mga interested na mag-apply or doon sa mga currently na nandun sila sa state na ano ba mag back or whatever or nandun hopper na rin sila ngayon so <laughs> we will give them like tips na baka pwede mag-hold on ka pa or mga reasons kung ano yung mga magte-trigger sa yun na ituloy mo na yung resignation or it's yeah. not worth it or you can probably like be more open or be more uh, patient doon sa company kasi marami rin naman talagang factors na consider before you decide leaving a company okay so kasi siya kung mapapansin mo yung ano niya yung <laughs> reason laging, li- laging yung reason is napupolitika or laging more on emotional so mm-hmm. And diba? convenience in MA. Yeah. Diba? So this this show is also going to be very beneficial for even the companies mm-hmm. and Correct. even the leaders in the company because the feedback nila is important. So mm-hmm. it will be beneficial for every side. Yeah, yes, correct. that's true. Okay, wala pa tayo sa destination. May dalawang liku pa eh. <laughs> <laughs> All along nga siya from north to south. Oh, oh. Mo. Go so, Nicole. Yung after ng e-performax ko, meron akong nakitang small company na sa 30 agents lang kasama na yung head bago pa lang uh, bago pa lang mm-hmm. ang pangalan niya is Tire EO actually tapat lang siya ng bahay namin <laughs> so wala akong ginagastos na pamasahe back office siya um, maganda naman kaso nga lang hindi ko alam kung bakit ako napaaway doon napaaway ako kasama yung may may tinatawag kaming homies alam mo mm-hmm. naman sa ibang bansa yung homies is parang manggugol pe ganyan close close sila sa boss so kaya umalis na ako kasi nagkaroon sila ng away nung jowa ko mm-hmm. So after noon, nag-scout na naman ako sa Facebook yung mga hiring ganyan. Uh-uh. Nakita ko si TP. So uh, ngayon, oo, nasa teleperformance ako and I'm proud to say na 7 months na ako doon. Okay, wow. Yeah. Kailangan mo ng applause. <laughs> And uh, are you loving it? Of course, sobra. Yeah. Ang dami nagsasabi na madaming dispute sa TP. Ang dami nagsasabi na hindi nauhulugan si ganito, si ganyan. Pero sa stay ko sa TP for 7 months, wala akong problema actually. Anong anong TP to? Itong sa show? Sa MOA. Sa, MOA. Te- mm, tapat ng uh, MOA Arena. Bongga, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tsaka kanina nga Marie, di ba pinag-uusapan natin kung ano yung nagpapastay dun sa mga employees sa company. Kasi mahalaga nga makonsider yon para at least, alam na nila. Pero ang uh, interested lang ako, no? Kasi hinahire at hinahire siya mm-hmm. ng mga companies kahit pa <laughs> ang mga nasa resume niya lang. 4 months, 6 months, 7 months. Kumbaga, normally kasi nandun yung cons- misconception na Um, when it comes to the hiring process, kino-consider nila kung nagtagal ka ba sa company. Pero kasi in the BPO, okay, sa sobrang desperado ng mga tao, ng mga yeah, company sa no, oh, yeah. employees, di ba? Wala silang pakialam kung hopper or whatever. It's it's no longer a basis talaga eh. Oh, talaga? Di ba? Kasi like now, even for us when we're hiring, kasi at times, you look at now kung itong person na to is experienced na, kung meron siyang um, enough experience to fit the account, uh-huh. pero not necessarily kapag hopper ngayon, we we have a lot of um, agents or trainees that come in and they're hoppers mm-hmm. and still so it's not even a big factor anymore yeah. but of course things may change yeah them. yeah and maybe a, a company is to take it as a challenge as well yeah, like, it's a challenge for us to have these agents stay with us for stay. years correct correct but you give them a chance ang BPO yeah pa niko question ko lang during interviews do you mention na ito I've been to 10 companies at ito yung mga nangyari talaga honestly honestly Honestly, hindi. Ang mga nakalagay lang dun is EGS, um, Transcom, Cytel, and CVG. Why mm, those okay. companies, Nicole? What's what's kasi the yun, reason for the choice? Yun lang kasi yung mga medyo matagal ako. <laughs> ah, yung may, ah, okay. And speaking of matagal, so mga five months up. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos every time na tinatanong, oh, bakit ka umalis? Personal reason. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, oh, mm-hmm. kasi pag gano'n, parang hindi naman na i-dig dahil pa yun. Eh, no? Kapag, bibigyan din pala natin ng tip yung mga nag-a-apply ngayon kung paano nila ma-handle lang maayos yung interview. Kasi lagi nilang issue yan, um, na, na-terminate po ako sa ganito, will I, should I declare or kung mm-hmm. should I, uh, ano ba to, um, reveal kung ano yung reason talaga nung umalis ako doon kung na-terminate ako. But anyway, hindi pa po, wala pa po tayo sa kalahati ng show, pero napakarami na natin <laughs> <laughs> nalalaman <laughs> ngayon. Tsaka hindi po natin nakakausap yung ating second guest na si Greg Pascal. So, let's get to know him first. Uh, how did you get started naman in the uh, the BPO industry? I know that's one, ano, ano man, tough act to follow. Ni <laughs> 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 Nicole, pero ikaw, you can, you can share your experience as yeah, well. Yeah, good morning to all the listeners. Yeah, hello. Uh, on Sunday Radio Show. Now, um, I started 2007. Mm-hmm. I 
uh, I came from Ilocos. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang purpose ko na talagang uh, pagpunta din sa Manila is to apply for a radio station kasi since Ooh. I was a uh, radio job before in, in Ilocos and La Union. Mm-hmm. Eh, sabi ko, uh, try ko nga yung mga sinasabi ng mga kaibigan ko. Which is uh, call center doon sa Ortigas. Okay. So, uh, 2007, I started with flyby, uh, four call center na fly-by-night. Fly-by-night. Ito yung mga underground <laughs> companies. <laughs> okay. It, uh, I started, uh, ito yung congratulations, uh, you win vacation package. Mga mga ganon. Uh-huh. Or win some three days, two nights vacation. How did you uh, How did you find them? Sa online? or? Actually, uh, nasa prestige lang yung mga yun eh. Doon sa Ortigas. Mm, so, okay. nagtagal ako doon ng three months. Nung u- first uh, first three months, okay naman yung sahod binibigay. Pero yung nagkaka-dispute na kami, mm-hmm. tapos may balita ba dito sa floor na mag-close na doon yung company dahil darating yung mga okay. uh, government um, Ang ire yeah, that, oh. that, that, That's the hard part about uh, yung mga fly-by night kasi walang ang assurance. Huwag hindi sure, parang hindi ka ligtas araw-araw na kinakabahan ka eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> yung job security mo talaga sobrang ano, bab. Wala ka rin benefits doon yeah. usually, di ba? Yeah. No SSS, oh. no field yes. health, pag fly-by night, yes. tama ba? Hmm. Kasi nakadalawa, as, nag-two companies pa ako, sabi nila, matagal na kami dito sa metro. Mm-hmm. And Manila. Uh, we can... Uh, Uh, give you um, parang training papuntang Singapore. Okay. Sabi nila. Ano ka kasi <laughs> Sabi ko, wow. Yung, paki- yung bigayan lang ng salary package before is nasa 14,000. Masaya ka na eh. Ang laki na nun na for 2007? Yung... Yeah, for a newbie. Oo, oh, oh, malaki siya. Malaki siya kasi. Oh. And then, eto na naman siya. Eto masaya dun. Papasok ka, nag-badge ka, yung management, bago. New account daw. Okay. Sabi ko, parang kahapon lang yung account ko, iba. Ah, okay. So, wala pa talagang streamline na process? Yes. And ano, ano, okay. Mm, eto yung mga companies na walang-wala talaga. Wala kang maasahan for mm. back pay. And eto yung nag-struggle na ako. Sabi mm. ko, teka nga. Ano yung sinasabi ng iba na may mga call center pang nagbibigay yeah. ng better uh, packages? Yeah, pero you're aware na from the start pa lang na fly-by-night nga to, na hindi siya legit business yung pinasok mo? Noong time Or hindi ka... kasi 2007, hindi mo pa iisipin na ano ba yung legit sa illegitimate yeah, okay. call center. Yeah, pero, okay. Pero meron siyang contract? Meron. Okay, and then you research about it, they have a website and all that, or... Yeah. Mga ganun, okay. <clears throat> eh, ang problema, nung nagtanong ako sa Dole, wala yung company, hindi daw legal. Oh. Ah, okay. Mm. Registered mm. siguro. Registered. Usually, kasi yes. they would have to be registered, right? In order to be legal. Yeah. So, yung, yung sweldo mo nun, parang, uh, is it gonna be through ATM? May tax din ba siya? Or may payslip ka rin? Ang masaya dito. By eh, envelope. Cash. Pipipila ka. <laughs> Ay, yun na naman, envelope. Construction oh, worker level oh, na siya. Yes. Oh, Tapos, sabi ko. <laughs> Kailangan mong pumasok para oh, makuha yung sweldo. Oh, oh. Pero buo talaga siya. Buo yun with all the Wala cents na. included. Five cents, one cent. Kasi <laughs> 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 so, may pariyo ka na ba masahe? Hindi ka naman mamaglema tayo. Oh. Tsaka, yung pinakamalaking sahod ko sa ikatlong uh, call center na fly-by-night. Masaya ka natin pag 3-5. 3-5? Oh my God! I cannot live with 3-5! Matatulong na lang kaya ako. <laughs> <laughs> Pero 3-5 to 1 month? Yeah. Oh, okay. One, oh. Ay my God! Oh, so, Katulong ka na lang sa amin. Delayed. Delayed, delayed pa. So you, you, stayed, uh, you stayed there for how long naman? Doon sa itong pang third no company na to? Ewan ko ang pata ko nagtagal ng 6 months eh. 6 months? Oh. May regularization din ba sila or wala? <laughs> Sabi, first 2 months lang, regular ka na. O oh, yun pa lang? <laughs> Alam mo, <laughs> guys, yung mga, yung mga ganyan mga offer na mga ano, too good to be true. Uh-uh. Diba, magduda kayo dyan, para siyang scam. Alam mo, alam mo, from the start pa lang na it's a scam. 2 uh-uh. <laughs> months of regularization in heaven. Yeah, uh-uh. yun yung mga scam na 
yung bigla-bigla lang ng nire-raid. Ay, yung mga first time po naka, nakarinig ng yung nire-raid, totoo po yun. Totoo. Pero ilang kayo sa floor? Or paano, paano yung setup nyo? No? Parang, Parang computer shop. May look out? <laughs> yeah, computer shop. <laughs> Parang ganun. 30 agents kayo. And then yung yes. account niyo nun, legal naman. Uh, is it like a business naman talaga in the US? Or... Actually, Singapore yung account siya. Okay. Mag- magugulat na lang si client kasi outbound siya. Mm, okay. So, kayo yung tumatawag yeah. kay, kay customer. Okay. Sabi ko kay customer, thank you for um, choosing our, our company. Uh, we have an offer right here. Uh, it's a medicine. That will help. Ah, okay. Oh, sure. Kilala ko to. Ah, okay. Yes. Nahilig ko din. That's yeah. not the first time na na-raid sila. Ah, okay. If ever. Kasi lumilipat. At ver- malakas kumita tong company yeah. na to. Sobra. Ang problema doon, pag nakuha na yung credit card information, wala na. Nicole? Kala mo sa board, delivered. Ah, okay. Pero pag tawag mo yung customer, mumurahin ka na. Yun yung murang solid. Oo. <laughs> Kasi nga talagang na-scam. Si- kahit, kahit si customer din, victim din sila eh, no? Yes. Mm-hmm. Parang hindi rin talaga alam nung legit company na yun na may mga nag-ooperate na fake call centers mm-hmm. which is um, unfortunately in the Philippines na nakaset up dito. Kasi it's very easy to set up a business here. Yes. Di ba? Maraming, maraming paraan. Okay? Okay. So after nun, paano ka napunta dun sa legit na, na, uh, na company na? Pang Muli third ako ng okay. Ilocos. Um, then umakit ako ng Baguio. Si Client Logic, which is si Saitel ngayon. Ah. Okay. So, nag-start ako kay Client Logic before. Nag-stay ako dun for three months. This was in 2008? 2007. Seven pa rin. Ah, within the year na ka? Ilang uh, before pang, ka na? bagong taon. Before magbagong taon. Oo. Okay. Tapos, yung setup maganda kay Client Logic. Ang problema lang doon sa Baguio, yung mga presyo ng boarding house. Okay, doon talaga tayo. talaga pag uh, talo ka provincial rate siya, oo. Pero yung commute mo araw-araw, kunyari pensa pens- pens- di peligro ka na. <laughs> wala, maglalakad dot maglalakad ka. Mm-hmm. Pero how, how long did you stay there doon sa Client Logic? Ano? Sa Client Logic I stayed for 4 months. Eh, may may tanong ako sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Kasi di ba from Cytel din ako before. Mm-hmm. So, may mga offers sa amin before sa Cytel. Oh, yung mga gustong magpa-lateral transfer ano, sa Baguio. Kasi, nag ako before eh. Sabi, pwede daw mag-yossi doon kahit nasa floor ka. Totoo ba yun? Curious lang ako. Yeah. Uh, kasi, kasi ano po hindi air-conditioned daw? Oh, hindi siya oh. air-conditioned. Kasi, hindi nung hindi hindi babalik ako ng Cytel, <laughs> magpaparelocation sana ako. Uh, last year lang yun eh. Nung sinabi nila, yung setup doon is paid by the company, yung boarding, pag, yung boor, yung boarding one mo. One month lang. Oo, one month. And yung setup ng floor doon is open talaga. Pwedeng, pwedeng, oh, pwedeng, pwedeng kang mag-yossi. Uh, mm-hmm. Habang nagko-calls. Uh-huh. Habang nagko-calls. Mm-hmm. Ay iba. Hindi <laughs> naman pwedeng mag-tumagay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo sila. Like sa uh, para kumpleto. Wala bang like non-smoking and smoking area? Oh, oh. Para pa sa mga ayaw mo. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, kawawa naman kawawa yung mga hindi nag smoke Pero na mo, na mo 'yon. Na do, do you smoke ba or Yeah. You know? Pero na mo 'yon habang nagko-call ka nag-smoke ka. Or, uh, or pa- palabas ng building. Okay, pero within the building pwede kasi yes. it's non-air condition. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. Super. Yes. Na ganun pala siya ka, ano. Nakaluwag. Oh, May ganun pala yung ganun company ng company pala. Ano? Kasi ako kasi ever since, since, two, oh, since 2010, isang company lang ako talaga. So, you cannot mm. question my loyalty, so date me. Ah, wow! <laughs> And then, pero nagpalipat-lipat naman ako ng account. Naka, so, in my seven years sa company, naka seven projects din naman ako. So, mga one year, one year lang talaga yung tinatagal ko or mga ilang months lang. Kasi mabilis ako maboard. Okay, kapag medyo nagagamay ko na yung, yung, yung process, I, I move then or naghanap ako na ibang opportunity within the company. May, may, ano ko eh, may separation anxiety kasi na parang, oh, okay naman, parang may fear of starting mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. Kaya doon ako nagtataka rin sa mga hoppers sa so parang, oh, ano ba to, parang start ka na naman, hanap ka na naman ng, ano ba to, ng mga requirements yes, and all that, exactly. pipila ka naman, undergo ka na naman ng interview. Mm-hmm. So, Okay, l- let's go back down. After ng si- ng ng Saitel, did you ano transfer pa doon sa ibang company pala? Uh, Ang transfer pa ako ng ibang company when I came back to Manila. Inang companies ba yung kasi sa kanya 10 eh. Can you top 10? Uh, Can you top that? <laughs> para mihan pala ng company. Yung sinabi ko sa iyo kagabi is 10, 10 'di ba? 10 companies yeah. yung sinabi mo sa bio. Uh, habang nagda-drive ako kanina papunta dito. Hindi lang pala 10. Ah. Ito yung mga legit. Ito yung mga legit. Uh, papunta na ng legit companies. Hanggang naikot ko lahat ng solid na accounts. 
So, ilan to 15? Mga 12? Mga 13 or 14. 13. Okay. Nasa pang ilan, tatlong flyby companies yes. na tayo. So, uh, nagtagal ka doon ng ilang months ulit per flyby? Mga 3 uh, months, three months, months, three months, three months, two months. Okay, yeah. then, yeah, go. Then, um, pagdating ko dito Manila, uh, nag-apply ako kay Alorica. Si Alorica, hindi talaga siya nag-change ng name. Alorica. Okay. Uh, okay. I can still see Sa them. Winsam. Mm-hmm. Uh, nag-start ako doon, uh, Globe, Globe, uh, Globe account. Local, Local account, okay. And doon yung first na bumagsak ako ng training. Kasi... Com skills? Or... Hindi ko maintindihan. Billing kasi siya. Ah, doon sa ano na to, prod. Yes, prod training, so prod product training. training na, okay. And pagkatapos ng Mac call, on the spot sasabihin sa'yo na hindi, hindi, mo, hindi ka nakapasa. Okay. That was a challenge for me. Kasi ilang months, ilang months ka pa lang doon sa Alorica? Two months. Two months, okay. Including the uh, nesting. Mm-hmm. So after Alorica? After Alorica, nag-ambergris uh, ako. Si Telus ngayon. Ambergris? Uh, yeah, yeah. dyan sa, sa market market? Yes. Okay. So ilang months ka naman doon? Kay Ambergris, nagtagal naman ako ng six months. Six months? Na regular ka? Na regular na ako doon. Ang kaso, kaya lang ako nag-aul. Um, eto... Ay, uh, alam ko familiar kayo sa yung BJ Hunt before. Mix. Mix or MTV? Kay Mix. Kay Mix. Mm. Okay. Ako yung pinasikat ni DJ Mo. Mm-hmm. Si BJ Greg. Mm. Bikinis. Mm, okay, okay. Nag-viral oh. siya nun. And kinabukasan na pagpasok ko, hindi ko alam na binabash na pala niya ako ni DJ Mo. Mm-hmm. Twister. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng mga katim ko, Uy! Pa-Apple ka rin, no? Mm-mm. Mga ganun sila. Bakit? Nag-audition ka pala sa BJ Hunt, tapos mali-mali yung sinabi mo. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, eh sabi kahit ano daw sabihin ko eh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. Eh sabi ko, wala naman akong kaalam-alam kung anong sasabihin ko. Mm-hmm. Sabi, ang team na is summer. Kaya, gumawara ako. Oh, yeah. So after nung, nung Amber Grill, lumipat ka na naman ng ibang company. Yes. Uh, anong account na naman? Anong company naman to? Si... Kwan? Et, eto na si Teleperformance. Sa ang brand? Ah, sa show. So, show. Okay. Uh, nagtagal ako doon for almost one year and six months. Tumatagal. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Level up. <laughs> Loyal na siya. Okay. Oh. So after naman, bakit ka naman umalis ang Teleperformance? Umalis ako uh, dahil sa TL. Okay, okay, management problem. So, later pag-usapan natin kung uh-huh. ano yung mga issue dyan normally. And then, after ng teleperformance... Nag-Sutherland Tarlac ako. Okay. Nag- Bukod dun sa ka- call center hopping, nag-hop ka rin ng region eh. Nag-Bagyo, <laughs> nag-Locos, nag <laughs> Nasa Tarlac ka na naman ngayon. From Tarlac. Okay. Uh, nagtagal, naman ako, <laughs> nagtagal naman ako dun kay Sutherland Tarlac ng uh, two months. Kasi... Tagahan? Grabe. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, from, yung tawag natin, di ba may tawag tayo kay Sutherland? Anong tawag ano? yun? Yung sinasabi nilang Sutherland. Sutherland, yes. Oh, Sutherland. <laughs> <laughs> may bago silang hashtag. Sutherland. Yeah. Okay. okay. Eh, ito, uh, sa Sutherland, this is only my opinion kasi narinig ko din sa kanila eh. Okay. Sa mga ibang nag-applicants or mga nagtrabaho doon. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, from Sutherland, mm-hmm. nag-hop naman ako pa, pa, papuntang Pampanga. Grabe. Which is... May call center din. Oh, marami mga call center mm-hmm. sa Pampanga. Which is NCO. NCO. Okay. Kaya NCO, nagtagal ako ng 4 months. NCO, dati siyang EGS, di ba? Yes. And, uh, yung problema doon, bakit 4 months lang? Kasi bumagyo. <laughs> sa Pampanga? Oo. Oh, pinasok yung boarding house ko. Um, puma- kinabukasan, pumasok ako na naka-short. Lumusok ako ng baha. Tinanggal ka dahil naka-shorts? Hindi naman. Bali, sabi ko, kailangan kong umuwi ng province kasi wala na akong kagamit-gamit. Ang sabi ba naman sa akin, terminated ka na. Ah, okay. Um, only, because... Because only one absent will cause termination. Okay. Pero grabe. Anong year to? Kasi medyo old-fashioned yung ano eh. Um... Anong year yung nasa Pampanga? That was 2009. 2009. Okay, so yun, nakikita natin yung progression na medyo yung noon, yung mga process kasi noon ng mga companies medyo iba-iba eh, no? Kung baga hindi pa siya nasa, nasa standardized. Yes. Okay. So sa pagbabalik po natin, we have to take a break. Sorry, hindi pa natin natapos yung mga companies <laughs> ni Greg. Pero we have to take a break po muna mga ka-teammates sa sobrang dami ng companies. Hindi po natin makakain. <laughs> 
<laughs> Naloloka talaga ako dyan. Pang ilan pa lang tayo, Greg? Pang ilan? Pang, pang fifth? Oo, yung mga nakatutok pala sa ating live session ngayon. Kung may meron pa kayong mas maraming company doon sa 13 or 15 na companies, please comment down below. Kahit na hindi nyo na-mention yung company, utang na loob. <laughs> Let's spare them. So, ayun nga. Uh, time check in the Philippines, mga katimates. 6.38 a.m. Stay with us. Welcome back to Call Center Radio mga ka-teammates and sa booth pinag-uusapan pa rin po natin ngayon Buhay Call Center Hopper Kasama pa rin natin ngayon uh, We have our guest co-host Marisa and Luis and we have our guests Nicole Bunyao and Gregory Pascal But before anything else, Frank? Yep, uh, again we'd like to say thank you to everyone tuned in Ako, ang dami nating mga live viewers I know, uh, We yes. have um, more than a hundred plus uh, More than a hundred redundant eh, no? <laughs> We have a hundred plus uh, live viewers on Facebook eh. We'd also like to thank of course for making the program possible so president ng HY Media Miss Kay Dacer at sa ating program manager Sir Nestor Doria maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtitiwala this program is of course is powered by Creative Voices Production and the Puchology Academy and of course uh, this program is actually in partnership with JCI Makati uh, please uh, if you want to become a member just go ahead and visit jcimakati.org yep. okay so we have a lot of live viewers ngayon sa ating Facebook so let's read some of their comments Frank Yep. Kanina MA nasabi mo nagtanong ka eh kung uh, ilang companies may tatalo ba sa 13? 13 companies. <laughs> <laughs> Merong nag-comment. Ang company niya daw ay 17 companies. Okay. Wow. Shout out. Kailangan mo ng applause. Ano, uh, Ryle Atilano. Ryle Atilano. Meron pa po bidding to actually. Uh-oh. Meron pa po bang mas tataas sa 17, 17. companies. Diba? Ano, ano yung meron dyan sa'yo Marie? Um, actually, ganun din. Merong isa, three companies for the last two years. May wala, mahina, mahina. Mahina. Oh, Ay, Patrick oh, Mina. Kailangan pa sinabi dun sa 10, 13, saka 17 natin. Baka may magbibit pa ng 20 dyan. Yeah, actually, ang dami mga nakaka-relate kanina. Tsaka, ang dami mga nakatutok ngayon. Sinabi kanina niya, ano, ni um, Louie Cabanilla Ocon, sabi niya, there's no such thing as smoking on the floor inside El Baguio. Oh, parang kinokorek na baka, baka ngayon, baka before pwede. Uh-oh. Diba kasi sabi ko nga, uh, napaka-dynamic ng industry. Mm-hmm. Diba? Everything is changing na uh, rapidly talaga. Yeah. So, yep. we, we also have listeners na talagang nagbibigay sa atin na uh, seven years na ako sa, sa, sa company na to, five years na ako sa company na to. Let's also ask them uh, what, what makes... Um, them stay. stay. Yes. Yes. Yep. Kasi yun naman yung magiging goal talaga ng episode na to. It's not really to glorify mm-hmm. job hopping, di ba? It's to actually um, look at the positive side or uh, understand, mm-hmm. okay? Magkaroon tayo ng para mas malawak na panguna when it comes to call center hopping kung ano ba talaga yung issue. Is it you? Is it me? <laughs> it's not true. It's not. <laughs> an opportunity for them to air their side kasi yes. there's always that negative di ba, impression towards call center hopper. Correct. Yeah. This is always the unheard side, ano? Yes. Na bakit tayo nagahap? So it's important as well for us to tackle this. Oh, ngayon palang na judge ng asil eh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ngayon palang may mga may mga nag ano hindi man sa pambabash pero na katawa talaga kasi hindi nila kinakaya yung ano masay ate sabi na kanina uh, may na comment dito si ano si Johnny Arlen sabi na kalo kasi ate mapupolitiko eh. in fairness ang daming kampanyang inikutan pero ganon talaga di ba? Mm-hmm. Kanya kanya tayo ng ano eh ng way ng paghahanap ng ating satisfaction and fulfillment. So going back dun sa kwento kanina ni Greg, oh, anyway, marami pa rin mga nakocomment. 10 years daw sa company since 2007, sabi ni Mark Anthony Perez uh, Bantilan and si Tere Villarreal, 9 years and 6 months from Saitel, pero di ko kinaya last account ko. So again, if you are just joining, uh, if you are just tuning in, don't sa ating live session on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. Please go ahead and participate in our discussion. Please comment down below, like this live session, and share it with your friends. Because isa to sa pinakamainit na episode natin sa buong season two. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay, so ipapatulin natin. So recap mo na tayo don sa last company mo, um, Pampanga NCO, yes. di ba? So after naman don, saan ka nagmove? Bumalik na ako ng uh, Manila. Di, uh, bumalik na ako din sa Manila. Kasi binaha ka sa Pampanga. So, Manila na ulit. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ka din maano, no? Mal- malagi sa isang lugar. Baguio, <laughs> Pampanga. <laughs> Manila, okay. Then before 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 ako bumalik ng Manila, 
umuya ako ng Ilocos for um, the, uh, for uh, for radio uh, for my uh, kasi yun talaga yung passion mo yes. di ba mag radio DJ yes. okay so nag na- work na bagsak ako pag hindi call center radio mabalik talaga ako sa, sa FM station na pinag-workan ko before mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and then going back sa BPO industry nag-apply ako kay uh, Transcom okay and then yes uh-huh. Ang masaya nun is nag-apply ako pa- panahon ni Habagat. Mm-hmm. Yun yung pinakamasuwerte yung mag-apply kayo mga tipong may bagyo. Okay, kasi... Kasi kumag- hi- ma-hire ka talaga agad. To. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Kumaka may, may crisis kasi. Yes, <laughs> wala na mm-hmm. Correct, okay. And then after kay Transcom, na- bumalik ako kay uh, Converges. Kay Converges naman, Nakadalawang site ako dito sa show at kay Converges Mega Mall. Mm-hmm, okay. Di ba mayroon sila sinasabi na pag two companies bawal. Uh-huh. Um, sa yung company na yun, sa show, sabi nila, hindi naman, hindi naman nila matre-trace. Okay. So, tipong na ikot talaga. Okay. Pero magkaibang account kasi siya. Yes, same magkaibang company. account. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Converges. And then, ngayon, um, after naman nung Converges, saan ka na? Uh, kay Converges, after that, nag-TSD Global naman ako. Okay. Mm-hmm. And sa may tagig. Mm-hmm. In, and then, nagtagal ako dun for four months. Yeah. Anong reason naman kung bakit ka umalis? Na-miss ko yung mga katim ko. Kasi graduate ako sa uh, escal- AT&T Escalations kasi yun. Okay. Na-miss ko yung mga katim ko kasi graduate ako, graduate ako, mag-isa ko. Hanggang nalagas kasi kami habang okay. papatagal. Okay, I see. So, na-miss mo yung mga friends mo doon na umalis na? Yes. Okay. So, after naman, saan ka lumipat? Lumipat ako dito sa... Lumipat ako dito along Ortigas. Um, it E-tel- E-telecare. E-telecare. Mm-hmm. Yes. Stream. Okay. Stream. Uh-huh. Ilang months ka rin naman doon? Kay stream, nagtagal ako ng four months. Nagtagal? Nagtagal. nagtagal. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi it's, it's longer than two. Kaya okay. nagtagal. Iba yung level ng commitment mo. Okay. After naman nung kay stream ng four months. Dito na, um, yun. Um, Bumalik ako dito kay TP. Teleper, okay. Teleperformance. Um, tumagal ako dun for six months. Yeah. Pero ngayon, saan ka na? Let's cut to the chase. Saan ka nang nag-stay ngayon na company? And how long have you been there? Now, I'm working with uh, Intelinet, in, Intelinet Global uh, Services. This is uh, Makin. BPO rin to. Yes, BPO. So, in Makin, and how long have you been there? For eight months. Eight, eight months. months. Very so, nice. So, do, do, do you plan to move again or do you plan to stay? Hindi ko masagot eh. Okay, you, you, okay, you don't really need to answer kasi yeah, we will uh-huh. dive into yung mga ano nga, yung mga issues na kinakaharap mm-hmm. ng mga call center hoppers kung bakit ba sila alis ng alis kasi pwedeng yung mga factors na yun could be emotional or professional within or environmental. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we call it in, parang something with the environment. External the, factor. Yeah, yung mga ganun. Nature driven. Aha. Ay, pagandahin natin ang pagandahin. <laughs> Positive scripting sa ano kasi Marie San Luis po is a, ano, a trainer, di ba? So, k- 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 Can you tell us uh, your experience handling people na mga job hoppers na mga tinitrain mo na, di ba kasi sa yung parang ano eh, first uh, experience nila within the company? Yeah, um, honestly, ang hirap. Kasi when you hear about, you, that's the first thing that you ask on the first day eh. What companies you've been with, how long. Tapos pag alam mo na natimbrihan mo na call center hopper, ang hirap mag hindi magtaas ng kilay because you have that yes. feeling already. Na alas lang din. Oo, yeah. oh, oh, may judgmental factor na pumapasok. But you still give that person a chance. So why did they leave? It's always a personal reason. Like if the emotional factor, like you mentioned, MA, mm-hmm. malaking bagay si emotional factor. Like they cannot work with other people na hindi galing sa wave nila. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pag nilipat ang ibang team. Or kaya hindi kasundo ang TL. Yun ang number one mm-hmm. eh. Hindi yeah, it's very hard kasi to work for someone na hindi mo naman talaga feel. That's diba? true. <laughs> 
Ayun, so those are the most of the reasons why they leave. But of course, like any other company, still give them a chance kasi baka they're just really looking for the right company to stay with. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's correct. Pero, actually, it's a red flag to have mm-hmm. 10, 13 companies in the past. Because <laughs> 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 I, I worked f- uh, for a... I, I worked in a recruitment din naman. Uh, mm-hmm. Being a team lead for, for learning and development, mm-hmm. I interview people and then uh, I pick the person na fit sa environment namin. So, it depends on the account, what's the need of the account, mm-hmm. and what's the job order of uh, the, the company na pagdideployan mo, do they need people na, ano lang, pang ma, 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 mabilisang commitment lang or no? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. yun, yung mga tinatawag natin na mga accounts sa project base. Yeah. 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 Yun, yun ang mga ideal sa hoppers. Yes, that's correct. Kasi yeah. it's usually six months lang and then yeah. no longer, di ba, na yung may contract. Ay, I know. Pero kasi diba? dun sa, sa company namin, kaya medyo na, nakukulture siya ako na may mga ganun pala. Kasi sa amin naman, uh, minsan kapag wala ka nang mapagla- wala nang mapaglagyan sa'yo, minsan binibigyan ka nila ng, ano, ng ilalagay ka nila dun sa floating status kasi for the company, it's more expensive to hire again mm-hmm. kaysa i-keep nila yung employee yeah. habang hinahanapan siya ng ng new project kasi ako nakaranas nga ako maging floating for like 2 months na nandun ka sa yung mga mga friends ko nag nag-apply na sila ng ibang company pero ako kasi di ba loyal nga ako <laughs> so nagaantay lang talaga ako ng call nagaantay ako ng sana ma-interview na ako sa ganitong project or yung mga project na sana gusto ko and then, dumating naman yung project talaga na gusto ko after ng 2 months and I am very thankful dun sa company kasi kahit nung nag-start pa lang ako uh, may mga kasabay kasi ako na, na yung account kasi namin very strict siya when it comes to the com skills so yung may mga kabatch ako na, na hindi pumasa dun sa com skills training for which lasted for like 8 days so, hindi sila pumasa dun sa Berlitz na exam. So, kailangan kasi mapasahan nila yung Berlitz. So, they failed the Berlitz exam. So, hindi sila pwede mag-onboard dun sa account na yon dun sa project. So, ang ginawa ng company, hinahanapan sila ng new project or new account, pero naka naka-floating status sila. So, naka-PTO, paid time off. So, hindi sila pumapasok, pero they get their pay. Mm-mm. And then, minsan nalunga ako doon kasi minsan six months na na wala pa rin siyang project or wala siyang account. Pagbalik niya, regular na actually, regular na siya. By default. By default. Walang, walang ka-effort, effort. Samantalang kami, yung dumating na sa prod, nandun na talaga yung challenge eh, after mm-hmm. ng training. Kasi, syempre, may kita mo na, ah, ganun pala yung expectation sa metrics and then ganun ka-stressful yung magtitake na ng calls. So, it's very hard. Pero, Akin, it's worth it kapag kapag nakita mo talaga na parang I belong here na parang ganun kasi feeling ko kaya naman nagkakaroon ng mga hopper kasi they don't see themselves you know um growing within the company yes. wala silang nakikitang uh, promise yes. so anong challenge sa yun Marie pag ano pag nakita mo na parang uh, how will i make this person stay or how will i make this person appreciate the the company kasi parang in in, in a way parang you're representing then yung company mo diba diba nga yung sinasabi nila we were talking about earlier no uh, about trainers representing in a nice way and they yeah, want yeah, to get yeah. to prod iba na uh-huh. correct, correct. so mahirap so actually i believe in transparency talaga eh. na you tell them exactly what's going to happen when they hit production. Mm-hmm. Don't hide them and sugarcoat it kasi sila yung makakaranas na ni. Eh. Correct. Diba? So, um, if I if I do get a call center hopper in a class, yun nga, like you, we identify as a red flag, we bring it up, pero naandun na eh. Nakayo mm-hmm. na, nagastusan na. So, you make the best of their time and tell them exactly what they're going to experience and then bring them to production, show them what they're going to do, introduce everybody. I mean, right now, uh, companies are very flexible kasi with how to keep people kasi like, he said, ang mahal mag ng tao. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the process is very very difficult actually na mag, mag-hire and then to retain them. Yes, so, di ba? Kung, kung na-onboard mo na siya, huwag mo nang pakawalan. Correct. Di ba? Parang love lang. <laughs> <laughs> Forever That's commitment. That's move. Na, no? <laughs> <laughs> Tsaka yung gusto ko yung sinasabi ka ni, ni, ni Marina, ang, ang challenge nga doon is to really um, be transparent, be honest mm-hmm. kung ano yung expectation ba nung uh, kasi minsan, isa sa mga nagiging reason din kung bakit umaalis agad yung employee ng 2 months pa lang, 3 months pa lang kasi yung na-promise during the job hiring process or yung prenami sa kanila ng recruiter or kung ano yung ina-apply nilang post ay ibang-iba nung dumating na sila sa floor. Okay? For example, nakalagay doon, magtitake ka lang ng ganito, ito lang yung gagawin mo. And pagdating doon, overwhelming yung oh, job. Oh. One-stop shop pala ito. <laughs> <laughs> May mga ganun, di ba? Unlimited lahat, no? <laughs> yung sa'yo, Frank, parang um, ilang, ilang companies kaya so far? Um, uh, sige, sabihin ko din yung journey ko, no? Okay, First go. company, I, wa- I stayed for eight months. It's a, it's a, da- da- 
data. And the reason ko again is it's not really for me because I'm a talkative person. Uh, hindi ko kaya yung hindi ako nagsasalita. Uh, processing siya ng claims. Yeah. Second company I stayed for three years. I became a team lead from an agent post to to uh, ayun nga naging uh, reports analyst, uh, team lead and all. Nalipat yung account to another company. I stayed there for six months. Six months lang I had to move kasi the environment is um, different from what it was before. Mm-hmm. Kasi, pero same account kami, same people. Mm-hmm. So I stayed for six months and now uh, sa pang-apat kong company I am running two years pero resigning. <laughs> <laughs> kasi nga yep, because uh, uh, I was put on floating status okay. and um wala na talagang uh, sinasabi ko talaga to sa radyo eh no? okay. <laughs> you didn't name naman the company oh, so it's fine ayan so um, uh, re- resigning ayan so yun yung journey ko I, I do not consider myself as a call center ha- hopper though mm. kasi it was 7 months 3 years and then 5 months same people same account mm. and then now getting 2 years yeah L- let's talk about call center hopper nga pala how can you tag someone na sa call center hopper ano yung parang meron a- ano yung pinaka nagiging ano doon yung category na yon para mag-fall ka into call center hopper is it like yung ang, sa kanya na 10 companies within ilang years lang or yung tenure mo which is 2 months or 3 months combination diba yun yun diba the no. combination of the tenure plus how many companies pero yun nga sabi nga like ni Nicole earlier hindi niya declare lahat mm-hmm. yeah. pero yung totoo uh, labas yun sa SSS eh. oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 nakikita yun sa yeah. Yes. yes, when they generate your ano yung contributions, yeah. nakikita yun nakatali. May mga nagtatanong nga sa akin ng ganyan. May ma- trace po ba nila yung mga previous kung hindi ko man siya i-declare? Okay. Meron silang parang 201 file, di ba? Yes, yes, that's correct. And if you actually uh, apply to big companies, mm-hmm. uh, may babagsak mo may yung CI. Check. May background yeah, check. May background Lalo check. sa company ko ngayon, talagang uh, naka two months ka na sa floor and then lumabas na yung resulta ng background check at nalaman na... Chugi ka. Oh. Uh, chugi ka talaga. Yeah. Mm. Kaya, kaya mga ka-teammates, be, be very careful, careful. po. Kaya, especially kapag nakapag-sign kayo ng contract doon kasi hindi lang siya papel. Okay? Y- your name is there. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be there and it's recorded. Tsaka yung mga companies na yan, mga BPO companies especially, they have like an organization That's right. like the the, the the CCAP, the IBPAP, they have the IBPAP. <laughs> they, they have like yung parang may mga connections sila ng ano, kasi nga they collaborate with each other especially dun sa mga um, kaya yung sinasabi ng iba na abaka hindi naman niya malalaman to or whatever lalabas at lalabas yun and then uh, non-negotiable kasi yun eh, especially kung uh, hindi ka naging honest at, yes. diba, at first during the hiring process na hindi mo sinabi doon na na-terminate ka pala or hindi mo sinabi doon na uh, nag-awal ka pala or hindi ka pala talaga nag-resign kasi may mga katima ko na ganyan dati na okay na kami uh, regular na kami actually mm-hmm. parang he's been taking calls na for uh, how many months and then nagulat na lang kami doon parang wala na pinol out siya kasi nga hindi nga siya nag-file pala ng resignation from the previous company that's mm-hmm. right and yes. to add to that what you yeah. said Emmy yung sa CCAP Mm-mm. so like now for our company we were requested to sign now a waiver yeah. Na kailangan, di ba, na you would um, provide your information so that all the companies with that are registered in CCAP, they can share the information. They can share. Yeah, yeah. Oh, may, 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 may third party um, yeah. waiver something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For you, background you, investigation. Yeah, you're, you're trying to say something, Greg. Yeah. Uh, for all those uh, newbies or applicants na nag ask kasi usually, um, so sourcing din kasi ako right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so Chloe din call center Philippines. So may mga nagtatanong, okay lang po ba sabihin na ter- uh, na terminated ako? Yeah, may may Actually, nagtatanong nga ngayon eh. Um ako eh sa eto ang account ko man is financial kasi. Yeah. So I I didn't hide anything. Sinabi ko sa uh, recruiter na I was terminated. Yeah. This is mm-hmm. the reason why. Okay. And explain ko, and explain ko kung bakit ako na terminate. Mhm. Kasi Pag hinahid mo nang hinahid na hindi ako na-terminate. Yeah, okay. Uh, may mga nagba-background check kasi na masosurprise ka nilang na- nalaman nila yun. Ayan nga, di ba? At saka, at least naging transparent ka, naging honest ka. In case man na, na mahigpit yung company na ayaw pala nila ng mga tenormate. Pero feeling ko, depende siya kung how will you sell yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes that's correct. As long as kung naging honest ka doon, how do you normally handle yung mga interview mo, uh, Nicole? Na pag ganun na yung, bakit umalis ka agad dito or whatever? <laughs> Ako, ano, usually sinasabi ko yung totoo. Yeah, okay. Lalo na dun sa apat na declare ko lang, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi, 
once na, na, na experience ko kasi yan sa isang company nag-apply ako actually na hin- mag nag-job offer na ako so iba background check na ako no um genpak ito so guys be aware na um yung genpak sobrang strict sila when it comes to background check mm-hmm, yeah um yung mga declare ko doon yung apat lang talaga during the background check tapos nagulat ako pinul out ako kasi sab- tumawag siya before start ng training sabi um madam kasi ganto um nakita namin na Hin- may hindi ka pala din declare. Yeah, okay. So every time na nag-interview, um ako nag-apply ako ng ng, ng trabaho. Siya sabi ko yung totoo, sa EGS personal reason, sa Transcom hindi ako nakapasa. Mm-hmm. Ganun talaga dapat transparent kasi pag hindi ka naging transparent, magugulat ka na lang mamaya regular ka na tapos bigla kang ipo-pull out. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How will you handle yung kapag nag-awal ka talaga? I mean, hindi ka talaga nag-resign, bigla ka na lang hindi pumasok. Um Paano mo siya sasabihin? Kasi sabi nyo, be honest. Pero mm-hmm. how will you say it in a positive way? In a way na parang magmumukha pa rin na, okay, will I risk? Di ba? Siyempre yung recruiter, mm-hmm. di ba? I-risk ko ba na baka mag-awal ka lang din sa amin? May mga tips ba kayo? Or do you have something in mind that we can share to our listeners? For me, usually... Uh, diyan ako natatrap minsan eh. Sa mga... <laughs> Kahit ako. Pag humihingi sila ng advice sa akin, I cannot give them an answer. Totoo. Kasi sabi ko, never ko kasing natry mag-awal at never ko siyang gagawin. So, I can't. Dito can. sa may... Sykes? Yeah, Sykes and... Uh, may, isang, may, may isang recruiter dyan na paikutin mo yung resume mo. Mm-hmm. Ibenta mo yung sarili mo pero titignan kayo sa mata. Mm-hmm. Alam niyang hopper ka or hindi. Okay. Uh, sinabi ko na... I've been with this company, mm-hmm. but nag-awal ako. Okay. The re- oh, why? Tell me the reason why. Kasi, it's because of my teammate. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe because of my managers. Why? Eh, in, in the end, sinabi ko na, nag-awal ako kasi muwi ako ng province. Mm-hmm. Um, I just need to find myself. Eh, yeah. wow. Uh-huh. So searching. Okay. Eh, so, uh, valid ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> Sabi niya, okay, hinanap po sarili mo. Okay, valid. Okay. Pero ano, kung, kung nakakailang awal ka na, no? Yeah. Red flag talaga siya. Sorry, kapag uh, yung sa dating company, hindi talaga papasa yung ganun. Yeah. So you wouldn't, Frank? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hire. Yeah. I, I wouldn't take the risk, mm-hmm. yung flight risk na tinatawag mm-hmm. natin, na i-hire siya and then pagkatapos, alis na Kasi kahit sa ano man, diba, even re- relationships, kailangan may closure. Kailangan sa... <laughs> kung ayaw mo na, sabihin mo, diba, mag-render ka ng ano ba, 30 <laughs> days? <laughs> or mag, kung ayaw mo na talaga, kung sukusoko ko, immediate resignation. Make sure na makakakuha ka ng clearance. Hindi yung pwedeng di ka nalang magpapakita na parang You, you leave your TL, your your job hanging na parang, ano na ba ito, papakita pa ba siya? Tapos minsan, ibablock ka na sa FB. Totoo. Hindi ka na makontact. Imagine na iniwanan kayo ng taong mahal ninyo. <laughs> <laughs> ano yung sabi ko nga ba, doon pupunta diba, yun. Ano yun yung, yung ganun? Uh, ano, so, be profe- in a professional mm-hmm. manner, mag-resign ng maayos, magpaalam. Yes. Parang di ka na mahirapan doon sa, pero paano ka na-hire pala doon sa, ano, after nung interview na yon? After yung interview na, uh, yun, wala talaga. Hindi talaga. Yeah. Pero paano ka na-hire doon after noon sa ibang company naman? Well, ako, usually kasi, um, gaya, gaya, uh, gaya niya, ini-edit ko yung <laughs> re- uh, resume. Okay. Pero, doktor nyo. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero pag si recruiter naman, eh, mabait. At na, na kuha mo na yung uh-huh. loob niya. At alam mong madami na siyang tanong. Uh, sasabihin mo na lahat-lahat. Kasi, uh, ang tip dyan sa mga hoppers or mga nag apply pag si recruitment or si recruiter or nag-interview sa'yo, ang daming tanong, go, uh, push nyo niya yan. Sabihin niyo na kung ano yung reason yeah. ng pag apply nyo. Sabihin nyo kung bakit nyo kailangan ng trabaho. Huwag mo na ibenta yung sarili mo na kasi ganito, kasi ganito. Go to the straight to the point. Mm-mm. Na I need this job because Mm-mm. I can handle this uh, I can handle all this uh, all the uh, challenges with in this account. Yeah. And parang parang pinapakita mo kasi na parang you're actually willing to change and commit. Yes. Na tsaka parang i-highlight mo na doon na parang since marami na ako naging experiences before, my uh, skills are actually fit for the the one that I'm applying for mm-hmm. right now. Di ba? Positive scripting niyo <laughs> na lang. Yung gawin mo na lang na parang <laughs> familiar na ako diyan kasi tech account ba to? Nakailang tech support account na ako before. Mm-hmm. Pwedeng may marami akong ma-apply. 
from those yes. companies that you can use now dito and what I really love about this company is it's closer to where I live okay, mga yada yada yes, that's correct diba? that's BS. actually the tip that, that's uh, how you, you turn it around yes. if the question is already sticky and uh, it's a negative in, in a way at yeah. yung answer mo is parang uh, magiging dragging para sa iyo ano yeah. you turn it into a positive situation na ikaw pa rin yung may upper hand ano mo share ko lang no nung nag-apply ako sa CVG syempre ang pangat ng resume ko na red flag talaga ako sabi sa akin sa CVG how can we make sure na you will not do the same yeah yes. you, that's the concern talaga ng recruiter oo yeah. ang sagot ko doon since ang mommy ko taga CVG ay si bakla syempre inano ko binild up ko yung yung sarili ko sabi ko kasi yung mommy ko from CVG and she said na maganda yung compensation and maganda talaga yung company nyo and to think na 2 years na yung mommy ko I think I will stay naman so yeah. yun yun yung sinasabi ko just to share put yourself na lang na sa position ng recruiter sometimes it will help talaga kasi yeah. iisipin nila oo nga bakit ka naman ni-hire kung hopper ka ba diba? yeah. so kailangan mag mabilis yung isip mo para ibenta yung sarili mo. Yeah, be spontaneous na lang during the interview kasi kapag nagkaroon ka ng mga dead air, mga mga awkward pauses doon, nakikita nila na parang hindi pa siya sure until now or hindi pa rin talaga niya nahanap yung sarili niya or uh, <laughs> nandun pa rin yung parang nandun pa rin yung ano, nandun talaga yung doubt ng tao mm-hmm. na ano, kung baga nag apply ka ngayon pero hindi ka pa talaga bu- hindi pa buo yung loob mo na pumasok sa another uh, company mm-hmm. sabi ko sa another relationship <laughs> <laughs> every ha ano papans ko talagang dun let's move on tayo, let's no? move on no? magbabasa muna tayo ng mga comments with our live viewers po mga ka-teenage we have from ano to sabi niya Trily Festejo you sabi niya share ko lang nasa Sterling Global Call Center ganyan sila pa nagre-resign ayaw pa nila payagan kahit low prod na tapos pag pinilit mo mag-resign papahirapan ka nila hanggang ikaw nila lang mapagod sa kanila na hindi mo na mahanap yung tao na dapat makapirma. Kaya bad experience ako pagdating sa clearance sa Sterling Global Call Center. Sinabi niya, oh, siya po nagsabi nun, hindi po kami mga katimits. <laughs> And then we also have our live viewers niyan. Sabi nila, um, we have Patrick Milo, sabi niya, pwede ka naman bumalik if ever na mag-fail ka sa behavioral interview. Try niyo sabihin na uh, sa ano ito? B.I. you went a wall. The interviewer will say no to your application. Then pwede ka bumalik. Pagbalik mo, sabihin mo na you failed. Mas masakit yun pag ipupull out ka bigla. Ayun nga, sayang kasi na nakapasok ko na sa prod. Parang you're starting a new life. And then, di ba, na parang okay ka na. Feeling mo, settled ka na dun sa company. And then, dahil nga hindi ka naging honest at first, bigla ka na lang ipupull out. Just to give you your termination letter. Tsaka, na-negotiable na yun. Pag hindi ka naging honest sa kanila. Nagiging ano ba siya? Blacklisted ka na sa company. Uh, mostly. You Well, yun nga. Because of CCAP and that new, um, what you call that? Ch- IB. Clause. Yeah, uh, yung, yung may, may clause. Na, uh. That could happen. Yep. Yeah, That's why, even though, before kasi, hindi siya under the radar and call center hoppers. But mm-hmm. now, it will definitely change. Kaya nga, sabi nga nila, when you, when you consider going into the job, make sure na ito na talaga. Or what are your reasons for mm-hmm. leaving? Diba? Like, may tanong dito um, yeah, in France, sabi ni Patrick Milo, paano pag tinanong sa'yo, what would be the reason for you leaving the company? Honestly, when I ask that question during the first day of training and they tell me personal reason, mm. you know, mm-hmm. which is the most common one, yeah, what kasi, is your personal reason? Oh, diba? you, 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 you get curious talaga, you ask. You get ganun. into details. Yes. Uh, kasi if, if, if the answer is uh, something about the company, is a environment, what happened mm. to, what was your experience with that company maybe it's something that the current company you are applying for ay maiwasan niya yes. diba at mabigyan niya kaagad ng solution Tama. again it's a two way process it's it's a uh, um, you helping the company know um, yung mga listahan ng ito dapat yung kailangan naming improve yeah. and them as well uh, having a grasp of who the people they are interviewing yeah but be very careful about not bad mouthing your previous employer yeah. uh, poaching yung mga ganun kasi ginagawa ng ano parang diba Ah, toxic kasi doon or whatever yung mga negative uh, words, words and phrases na, right. na it will reflect kasi on you eh, not naman doon sa company na yes yun, that's diba? correct and if I may just add there are other companies na who will just bank on your skills the way you present yourself and all that mm-hmm. but there are a lot of companies na ang titig na talaga is your character mm-hmm. diba integrity honesty and all those things na non-tangible sobrang dependent ngayon ng mga call centers when it comes to behavior mm-hmm. yeah, but correct ati kasi skills lang talagang inuuna eh. Yeah. Pero Basta magaling mag-English oh, or uh, maganda yung school niya na pinagalingan niya. Maganda accent, okay, na mag- hired ka na. Uh-huh. Ngayon, hindi na pwede yun. They really look at the behavior of each and 
every individual that comes in. Kaya nga, mm-hmm. if you look at the hiring nowadays, parang mas nagdi-lean towards pa sila dun sa mga bagong graduate Correct. versus sa mga tenured. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Yeah. That is why there are a lot of programs na for new, new, uh, new graduates mm-hmm. saka sa company namin. Kaya yeah. meron silang yung bagong graduate din um, uh, hinahire tapos tinitrain at sila na yung i-deploy sa iba-ibang project. Yeah, yeah correct. Right. At saka dami mga trainings ngayon na more on uh, personality. That's right. Yes, that's hindi right. na lang siya skills, hindi na lang siya dun sa English, hindi na lang siya sa mga ganun. No, no, more on mga leadership training, mm-hmm. more on mga, yun nga. Kasi, dun talaga, kapag nagkaroon na ng attitude yung employee, mi- oh. minsan ang hirap niya niyang hatakin, di ba? Nas- nasa dark side na siya. <laughs> so, ang hirap nang makuha ulit yung loob niya. And then, parang kapag umalis na siya, lilipat siya sa iba, minsan ganun pa rin yung nagiging problem. Normally, yun yung fear ng mga companies sa mga hoppers. Kasi feeling nga nila, the same pattern will happen. Yung, yung, yung Uh, yung trend na yun na aalis lang din to kapag nakakita siya ng conflict within the company just like what happened yung sa'yo na pag nakakita ka ng parang politics na ano mm-hmm. can, can you define uh, politics and the, the company is it like power tripping yung boss or within may na-promote na hindi deserving or whatever um, hindi parang sa, sa experience ko sa Transcom siba diba during training uh, during nesting maganda naman yung stats mo alam mo yung wala ka namang ox uh, wala ka hindi ka naman y- yung ano nga tawag doon pagka nagko-calls ka yung AHT? AHT, oh. yeah. Handling yeah. time, yeah. Oh. Oh. Alam mo sa sarili mo na wala yun eh. Kasi meron 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 doon sa meron ka doon real-time metrics na may kita mo yun. Tapos pagdating ng scorecard mo, bakit ang taas ng OX mo hindi ka nga nagsisir during calls? Mm-hmm. Bakit ang taas ng ACW mo, ang taas ng AHT mo, eh, hello, ang Hello, parang nasa top ako sa sa buong buong wave. Tapos ako pa yung matatanggal. Yeah, okay. Ganon. Mm, stock tas, ranking ito. Mm-mm. So, may nag may nakaaway kasi ako doon. Hindi ko alam na boss pala yun. Yeah, yun yung okay. pinaka-boss namin na nagahawak ng training department. Okay. <laughs> pa- parang, away, is it like a verbal away or is it more uh, on... Parang ano? nasagot ko siya kasi every okay. every day, every, after after um, nesting, after calls, kailangan mag-stay doon ng 4 hours, 2 hours para lang sa huddle na hindi oh naman siya paid. Sa Transcom ito ha. Um, tapos, after noon, parang natanong ko, kasi sabi niya, we will send you um, an email tomorrow kung ano yung mga napag-usapan. Since mal- malayo ako, antipolo pa ako before umuwi sa anong nasa transcom ako. Tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, is it really necessary for me or for us na mal- yung sa malalayo tapos may bibi pa ako noon na inaalagaan na magstay kung yung napag-usapan naman po isa-send nyo through email. Tapos yeah. tinarayan niya ako, sabi niya, sige, you can go home. Tapos ayun, doon na nag-start. Yung trainer ko, um, ano siya, bakla siya, so kaklose, kaklose ko siya. Sinabi niya sa akin yung totoo, umiiyak nga siya after nesting. Sabi niya, sorry, hindi kita napagtanggol kasi siya na yung pinaka-head eh. Mm. Na, na ano niya talaga yung scorecard. Yeah. And, and be, be very careful din dun sa mga ganong conflict sa, sa company, no? Yung ano, kasi a- ako never pa ako naka-encounter talaga nung, um, hindi naman siya sagutan eh, normally. Kapag mga ganyan, it's either through email lang na may mga flaming emails or mga sarcastic na na ano ba, yung mga di ba during coaching or whatever pero kasi nandoon pa rin yun eh di ba you're you're actually offending someone mm-hmm. which is napakahirap noon kasi kahit pasabihin mo na dapat hindi siya tinitake personally nandoon pa rin siya sa uh, superior mo siya or, mm-hmm. or whatever so wala kang may may say sa siya talaga sa future mo mm-hmm. well there's always um, a proper way of handling it di ba? professionally pa rin hindi tayo wala tayo sa kali yeah. we're, we're still Uh, employed in the business at saka ito dapat ang way of uh, speaking natin with the superiors. Mm-hmm. Saka meron yung companies na yun, uh, open door bodies na sinasabi nila. Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, from based on the experience from uh, teleperformance uh, PL uh, na power creeper mm-hmm. which is close niya si OM yung yung manager of si uh-huh. boss boss to boss And pag uh, nag-decision sa or pag nag-decide na siya na i-terminate ka, ta-terminate ka na lang without explaining your side. Yeah, it happens. So, you know. ang sagot sa akin HR nung nag-reapply ako, oh, nagpa-clearance ka naman, clear mm-hmm. ka naman. Yeah, yeah. Ang tanong dito, bakit hindi ka rehirable? Um, kasi they they get to decide na kung kung for rehire yung employee yeah. na tinaterminate yes. nila That's parang right. tinatag nila doon mm-hmm. so so feeling so, mo na, na, na personal ka na personal ako na personal ako ni TL na nung team lead na nag nag clearance oh, sa yo uh-huh. ang problema yung sinabing kausapin ko yung TL nagresign din si TL mm-hmm. okay I so see. parang nung tinag niya ako na na rehireable that's a big question mm-hmm. bakit bakit anong ginawa ko sa kanya 
Yeah. Saka... Shout out po dun sa TN. <laughs> <laughs> At ramdam ko po talaga yung ginig. <laughs> yung, yung, uh, uh, yung, yung hugot. Uh, no? Pero yaan mo na, sabi nga nila, maraming, d- d- there are many fish in the sea, there are uh, many call centers in the metro. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Not so, just in the metro. Uh, Pwede na bumalik ulit sa, sa La Union, sa oh, Lac, Baguio, Pampanga. Ano mo yung pinagbulan? <laughs> Pwede rin siya mag-Cebu, siya ka Davao. Hindi oh, pa oh, niyo napupuntahan oh, oh. ever. And now, uh, we've been talking about kung ano yung reasons nila why they've been hopping from one center to another. No? Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about what's making you stay yes. ngayon yeah. sa company. Correct, correct. Kasi ngayon, um, do you have any plans pa of leaving? Kasi sinabi mo kanina, you're very happy na uh, fi- finally, parang nakita mo na siya. Yung sarili ko. Uh-huh. Nakita ko na yung sarili ko sa company. Pero to be honest, um, sinabi ko na to sa Ayun na. Ko. Yan na naman tayo sa to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> And then may balak akong umalis kasi mag-iibang bansa ako. Ah, well, that's already a good reason of resigning. Oo, oh, hindi na yung dahil lang trip ko. Oo, oh, dahil lang mapulitika na naman. Oo, oh, mapulitika. Okay. Maganda, actually maganda sa TP. Hindi ko alam kung bakit dahil ate hindi ko hindi ako mm. nag-apply sa TP No, ang dami ko kasi naririnig, naririnig talaga na ay madaming dispute diyan tapos delayed yung sweldo way back 2013 pa nung nag-start ako kaya hindi ako nag-apply mm-hmm. tapos nung wala na lang talaga akong mapuntahan na company na ma-applyan um, dumating yung yung chance ko na mag-apply sa TP sabi ko, sige, I'll try. Tapos, maganda, maganda yung TP, maganda yung tao yes. nakapaligid sa akin, yung TL, yung account mismo, um, day shift pa. Yeah. Kahit hindi ganun kalaka yung compensation sa TP, maganda yung may gym eh, may free gym yeah. eh. Diba kasi nagagawa pag yung environment, no? Yes. Tsaka, kahit sa company naman, depende siya sa project or sa account That's right. na pinagdalahan sa'yo. So, a- ano pa yung mga reasons mo why, why you're staying actually? Bukod sa uh, magandang company, sa taong nakapaligid sa akin. Yung mga ka-wave ko, yung TL ko, yung mga taong nakilala ko sa floor, very accommodating sila. Hindi sila yung before pagkapapasok ka ng floor, ay, newbie to, newbie to. Pag nag english ka sa elevator, di ba, kailangan pag-trainee, di ba? Yeah, no? most ay, of the newbie. time. Ay, newbie, mga tipong yeah. ganon. Sila hindi. Uh, they are actually supportive. Oo, na. supportive sila. Tapos pag magtatanong ka, hindi sila dead ma lang sa'yo. Kasi yung account namin is more on complaints department. Hindi kami... Stressful na to. Oo, oh, oh, oh. friend, po, um, ano lang kami, outbound-outbound sa mga na-handle namin na case. Hindi kami queuing. So, every time na nagtatanong ka sa kanila kung may na-handle na sa nang gantong case, tin- tutulungan ka nila. Yeah, Unlike okay. sa ibang napuntahan ko, ay, metrics ko kailangan alaga. Correct, ko. correct. Hindi ko ituturo sa'yo yung kung gano'ng ka-competitive yung environment oh, ng iba kasi, no, na parang, no, uh, what 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 I know, I will not share it to you. Na parang yeah. pag-aralan mo siya. Ano, eh, mm-hmm. Baka masurpass mo ako, baka ikaw, <laughs> <laughs> diba, baka ikaw naging number one. Hindi wala akong incentives, yung mga kapunta ng ganit siya, ganito. Oo, oh, oh, I know. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung pinakagusto mo na sa, sa culture kasi, sa culture, diba, napakaganda. Oh. How about you, Greg? Uh, before I start, shout, shout out nga pala sa mga TP, uh, yung mga... Ginagawa ang bahay ang sleeping quarters. <laughs> Oo nga, marami daw gano'n, di ba? <laughs> Pero if that will make your employees stay, di ba? Why not? not? Sa amin nga, free food eh. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> Ako naman, um, uh, sa company ko ngayon, meron yung time na dumating sa resignation mm-hmm. dahil, um, I would admit, si uh, TL ko na to, yung unang naging TL ko, is my attitude. Yeah, okay. So, naiintindihan ko naman yung side niya. Pero, ang dating sa akin kasi, pinir- yung na-personal ka. Okay. So, to make it short, nalipat ako ng ibang DL. Ng ibang team. So, si management, nagtanong kung bakit ka magre-resign. So, sabi ko, dahil sa TL na to. Yeah, Sige, okay. Sige, stay with your, stay with your uh, nesting. Mm-hmm. Ipasa mo yung mga metrics mo, bumawi ka, bibigyan ka namin ng, mag- ng ibang TL, hanapan ka namin. Mm-hmm. So, doon ako na-amaze. Kahit na nag-aawal na, kahit nag-aawal na ako, NCNS, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. bibigyan ka ng RTW. RTW na yun, is... So, ready to oh, wear? Uh, return to work. <laughs> ready to wear, uh, okay. Return to work yeah. order. Return to work, order. ready to work. Ano ba? <laughs> Walang... <laughs> Uh, sa return to work na yun, hindi ka, hindi ka dadali sa HR. Yeah. B- yung headset mo, yeah. bibigay Very considerate, no? Yung yeah. manager mo, okay. Mm. So, uh, ngayon, I'm planning to stay with this company. Um, inaantay ko lang yung um, benefits na mag- maging SME. Kasi, ngayon, nagsusupport na ako sa mga 
Good for ba- you. Bagong lumalate. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, kahit hindi pa ako nakapirma ng um, contact, uh, ako agent pa rin ako. Pero yeah. pag maganda yung metrics mo, oh, punta ka dito. Yeah. Hawakan mo yun yung academy na to. Yeah. Or delegation of tasks. Yeah. It's preparing you na actually for the the, the bigger role bigger and the higher role, position. Yes. And so, with this company before, uh, this company now, which is internet, um, nine months, uh, they will give you the position. Yeah. Mm. Basta, the, isa yun sa mga nagpapastay talaga sa sa mga employees. Pag nakita nila na yung may 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 growth, yes. and then nakita nila na parang they are actually being trusted mm. ng mga mga responsibilities. Kasi mm. kung binibigyan ka ng, ng task, how long have you been uh, doing this na parang support ka na? Itong month lang. Ngayong, ngayong, ngayong month pa lang yes. na ito, di ba? So, keep it up, di ba? Malay mo, in, in three months or ilang months lang maging SME ka na, di ba? Mapopromote ka na. Kasi, ibig sabihin, nakita nila doon na para may potential siya and then meron siyang leadership skills or may pwede natin siyang bigyan ng mga bigger uh, responsibilities. And then, yung sinasabi nga namin kanina, ni, yung sinasabi kanina ni, ni Frank na when it comes to the the people na or doon sa, sa company, minsan, wag, wag mo hayaan yung emotion na yun yung magpatalo sa iyo. Kasi, I, I, sabi ko nga, di ba, call center industry or the BPO industry is like a uh, reality show. You, you're dealing with different personalities yes. and there are a lot of challenges, maraming twists, and then the bottom line or the at, at the end of the day, it's either you get evicted or you voluntarily exit. So, the, the way to play the game, and then this is me speaking on behalf, or this is me speaking kasi masyado akong fan ng Survivor. Mm-hmm. This is what I've learned after years of watching that reality show, na parang mostly, okay, lahat ng mga nananalo dun sa reality show na yun, best players are actually, hindi sila emotional. Okay, yes, they know how yes. to play both sides of the house. Yes. They can become pro-management, they can become uh, pro-agent, they can become in-between, they can become, they, they are actually very fluid. Sa so, kung mm-hmm. ano yung nangyari, saka very flexible sila pag nagkakaroon ng mga change. Kasi, nagba- may bagong process, hindi ka pwedeng umiyak na hindi mo na gagawin to or biglang may nag-resign. Yung friend mo, nilipat na ng seat or ng whatever, o kaya na nilipat na ng floor. <laughs> hindi mo pwedeng i- mag-resign ka because lang dahil dun sa mga ganong kababaw na reason. You have to focus on your goal, yeah. kung ano yung, 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 yung prize. Kaya yung mga nanalo dun sa survivor na yun, parang, parang um, at the start pa lang, may ki- nakikita na nila dun na parang this is just a game. Okay? That is true. I so, have uh, to agree mm-hmm. with you, MA, kasi, you know, being with the company that I've been with, almost five years na ako. Yeah. Wow! Mario, diba? So, what kept me in that company, despite all the challenges, is like what you said, yung emotions is the last thing that you have to mm-hmm. really think about. Kung meron kang hinanakit sa isang tao, don't bring it to the workplace. Unfriend mo na lang sa Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> ako, may, may, every time na tinatanong sa kanya ng um, trainers, kasi, di ba may mga parang activity every time na may training, tinatanong nila ako, paano kung meron kang problema sa bahay? Anong ginagawa yeah. mo? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, personal uh-huh. issues at uh-huh. home. Yeah. Papasok ka ba? Mag-a-absent ka ba? Mm-hmm. Ako, sinasabi ko, uh, I learned it from one of my trainers sa EGS. Sabi niya sa akin, every time na may problema ka, lahat naman tayo may problema araw-araw. I know. Yeah. Imaginein mo na lang na nakaha- may, may baso dito sa palad mo na empty, tapos bago ka pumasok sa isang company or sa company mo, um, ilagay mo lahat ng emotions mo, yung mga, yung, alam mo yun, yung mga problema mo. Mm-hmm. Mga burdens tas, and all that. Tapos lang siya sa labas ng building, tapos pagkapasok mo dun sa company mo, parang ano ka refreshed yeah. ano ka newly person ka so yun yung araw-araw kong ginagawa sa company kung ano man yung meron akong problema sa bahay mm-hmm. bahala ka muna diyan kasi at by the end of the day problema to problema pa rin naman kita eh. yeah. it boils down talaga sa mental strength yeah. no yes. it's the way to convince yourself na oh you're all business na since you just batched mm-hmm. in no how about you Greg how do you manage that na personal issues to na ganun personal issues uh, gaya nga sa nung bagong TL advice niya sa akin kung may personal issues ka Leave it outside. Pag mm-hmm. nag-batch ka, iwan mo na doon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Kasi, you've learned doon na, di ba, through yung mga experiences mo before na binaha ka lang, yung yeah. You leave. Um, <laughs> eto, uh, lesson talaga sa akin. Yeah. Na, uy, si teammate, may bagong prospect na company. Team, tara. Resign tayo. Yeah. Up uh-uh. tayo. Hmm. Bad influence kasi yung mga yan eh. Hindi talaga yung may kasalanan eh. Tapos, um, team, ganito kasi yan. Ako, mag-start na ako bukas. Sa mga tenured agents yan, uh, pag-isipan nyo na mabuti. Or sa mga may balak pumasok ng indus- uh, industry na to, pag-isipan nyo na mabuti ng hundred times or million times kung fit ba talaga sa'yo itong work na to. Kasi, 
mag enjoy ka naman once na nahanap mo yung company na mag-aalaga sa'yo at ibibigay yung mga hinahanap mo. Just work Totoros. hard for it. Mm. Yeah, that's correct. Ano? Um, uh, research, ang dami ng mga reviews available yeah. online. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's for you to set your expectations. Ano yung papasukan ko? Para yeah. hindi ka naman magulantang pagpasok mo dun. Ah, ganito pala. <laughs> yeah, make up your mind, di ba? <laughs> na, tsaka, yun nga, kasi pag, pag nandun ka na sa company na yun, minsan, lalo na pa nakasign ka na, especially kapag merong training bond, you have to stay for the company yes. for life. One year, it's a commitment, diba? It's longer than your relationships, actually, na one year ako mag-stay dito, na ganun yung na wala kang choice na unless you have to pay the, the bond, diba? Na normally, 100,000 plus. So, ano po siya, hindi, hindi lang siya joke-joke. Na, ano, unless fly-by-night siya, yung katulad sa kanya na wala nangyari. Pero if you want to build a career, not just have a job, you have to take it seriously talaga. Yes, that's correct. And for you to hit, if you are aiming, if you are gunning for higher position sa, sa what day, ano, hindi pwedeng paalis-alis ka din ng company, yeah. diba? Parang yung may, may tinatawag sila, um, Jack of all trades, master of Lahat ginawa, no? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lahat ng account inikot, billing tech, customer oh, service. Oo, magsasawa ka rin in, in the long term yes. na kakahap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kasi ako, naikuutan ko na lahat ng tech account. Mm-hmm. Yung mga uh, telco uh, US, naikuutan ko na even uh, shopping Mm-hmm. Uh, shopping ng U- online dami mo nang ang dami mo nang alam no uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> dapat sayo tinutumban <laughs> so ano ang um, lang no sa mga gustong pumasok ng BPO industry yun nga sabi niyo alamin niyo kung ito ba talaga sa inyo kasi hindi ka magse-stay sa isang company kung hindi mo gusto o mahal yung ginagawa mo ayan so, i agree so, yung isa pang dahilan that some of them come into this industry is like try ko lang yeah okay diba? yeah. springboard lang ko <laughs> kaya sila nagiging hopper because hindi sila nagse-set ng goal pagpasok nila, dapat meron ka na nakaset kung ano ba ang gusto mo mangyari sa career mo when you get there. Are you going to be an agent and just go and get the incentives? Or do you really want to work towards leadership? Kasi that will help you and will mm-hmm. help the company, di ba? Correct. To go and enhance you y- y- more. Yung sa'yo pala, uh, Marie, kasi since you've been in this company for like five years, meron ka pa ba mga ibang BPO companies sa pinagmulan before? Can, can you mm-hmm. share your story pala? How did you oh, get? Oh, naman. Oh, no. um, actually, I also started with um, Globe. That was my first ever call center sa Laguna. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman ako nag ng Pinas katulad nila. <laughs> <laughs> Galing ako Laguna because that's where I uh, actually came from, where I lived with my mother. So, when I, when I was with that company for eight months, I had to resign because um, my son, he had cancer. Mm-hmm. So, there was a reason for that. After that, after a few months, I started with Epic Star, which is no longer here. Um, and then I stayed with that company for like seven, seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. That was one the longest company I've been with. I, there were times, there were two companies so that in between that I don't really talk about much because it's very short span yung stay ko um, one company only stayed for two months because I got pregnant after that with my husband and then the other company I stayed as an agent because I'm just lang ako para may trabaho lang mm-hmm. wala yeah. talaga akong goal in other words <laughs> gusto ko lang kumita ng pera to prepare for the pregnancy and then this is my last company so far so the reason why I'm stay, I stay with this company and why I'm still there is because family na yung account I've been with the account ever since I started and now I'm leading as well mm-hmm. sa account na yon, um, not only as a trainer but my own team so there it's, it's about growth as well kasi I had a goal when I went in sabi ko gusto ko maging trainer dun yes ayun so that happened ayun. speaking of goal mm-hmm. kung ang goal mo lang naman eh pagpasok sa call center para lang mabili mga gadgets <laughs> na gusto mo utang yeah. na loob wag na Uh-oh. kasi sinasayang mo lang yung effort mo nag apply ka but your but you will follow the light na palabas na ng building yeah tsaka tsaka ng resignation correct isipin mo din yung taong nagpakahirap sa team mm-hmm. which is si TL mga ka teammates mo kasi lahat ng nagre-resign meron silang tinatawag na scorecard din mm-hmm. metrics din ang tatamaan Yeah, okay. Yung attrition rate din nila, no? Tsaka yung, yung kanina nga pinag-uusapan natin na if you're actually applying na parang dahil trip-trip mo lang, kailangan nga siguraduhin mo muna yung papasukin mo. Kasi nga, um, kailangan magkaroon ka ng goal. Kung uh, ang dream mo ba talaga, hindi naman sa call center agent lang. Kasi hindi naman natin sinasabi, sinasabi dito na parang kung nag-stay ka as an agent or pag nag-stay ka sa company na yan, do not leave. Sinasabi lang natin ngayon na parang magkaroon ka naman ng parang mag-stay ka naman 
long enough mm-hmm. na meron kang makukuha mga wisdom, mga di ba, knowledge, Maturity, skills, mature, discipline. na hindi yung parang two months pa lang kasi parang napaka-immature kasi noon na uh, two months tapos malis ka and then yung mga reasons na yun may kita nila doon na parang ang mga reasons mo napaka-small lang mm-hmm. di ba so isa yun sa mga kinoconsider din and then ang akin napansin ko rin kasi na kaya rin nagkakaroon ng sobrang attrition especially sa call center kasi alam nga nila na meron at merong mag-hire yes. mm-hmm. okay alam nila na meron at kaya so some people they would take their job for granted kasi alam naman nila na parang oh Anytime naman may mag-hire sa akin. And then, yung mga friends nga nila na umalis, yung sinabi ni Greg kanina, na parang i- i- i-refer sila kasi may mga referral bonus. Oh. So, for example, may isa na nag-resign <laughs> sa katim mo, hahatakan kayo lahat niyan. Oh. Isa-isa. Tsaka isipin nyo din na nag-calls ka na eh. Mm-hmm. Mag- tapos, kinabukasan, mag-a-apply ka. Mm-hmm. Then, nag- big- Ay, yung kaka-apply mo na yun, naisipan mo bigla, ah, i-means the resignation na ako. Kasi may mga nagsusul-sul sa'yo eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh Pero isipin mo, pupunta ka ng magpapaprint ka sa computer shop ng <laughs> resume. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos nakakailang update ka na ng resume. <laughs> nakakailang xerox ka na. <laughs> yeah, okay, NBI clearance, police clearance. Pero pag nasa sa recruitment ka na, uy, magugulat ka na lang yung mga naging kabatch mo sa iba, ibang centers na recruitment. Kayo kayo pa rin nakikita. Oh, it feels uh, home. Sipin mo lang. Sipin mo lang. Sipin mo lang. Sipin mo lang. Na-experience ko yun. Yung every time na pupunta ko sa isang company. Same. Sabi ko, uy, parang kilala kita. Ay, ay, ay. Magulat ka lang eh. May mag-apurm sa'yo. Oo, parang. Uy, uy, kilala kita. Di ba, taga ano ka dati? Tapos parang may papaisip ka, ay, oo nga, no, nakasabay din kita doon. Yung parang ganun. Ay, ay. Saka, isipin nyo din na yung um, naka-headset ka na eh. Bigla mong tatanggalin. Pupunta ka sa interview room. Ano, pag hindi ka nakapasa or pag, na, pag natapos yung interview mo, na yung doubt mo sa sarili mo, nakapasa kaya ako. Oo. Mm-hmm. Hindi, k- kasi nga, yun nga, you, you will start over. Kaya, yeah. mm-hmm. bilib din talaga ako dun sa yung mga hoppers na, <laughs> kasi ako, ako wala akong tiyaga pumila sa mga mm-hmm. government offices to, to uh, <laughs> look for, I mean, yun, ano ba ito, mag-collect na naman ng mga requirements, mag-undergo, mag-formal attire ka na naman. And then, hindi naman sa nagiging comfort zone yung kinalalagyan mo mm-hmm. ngayon. But, you look at the the big picture kasi, di ba? Yes. Y- y- you consider a lot of factors na parang what are the benefits na nag stay ka dyan. And what made you stay in the first place? Mm-hmm. And then, what keeps you going within the company? Kung kaya mo naman na i-open yung, yung eyes mo dun sa mga ganun, kaysa naman dun. Kasi, Uh, alam ko maraming glaring talaga ng sa ibang company na parang we can give you this these uh, ito yung magiging parang signing bonus namin referral bonus ito yung magiging package mo we can triple your your salary mm. nandun siya pero y- y- you consider din malapit ba siya sa bahay ano ba yung magiging uh, opportunity cost nun ba diba? kasi pag dumating ka nga dun, normally ito yung na- na- napansin kong trend dun sa mga ka-teammates ko na uh, we've grown together in the same company and then parang they finally decided to leave after they left actually nagpalipat-lipat na sila ng ibang company parang nasira na yung ano nila ng agent-agent kasi parang they're only after about the the bigger pay mm-hmm. yeah. which is hard kasi when you start the ba you go back to the starting package eh? yeah yes. they're not so, going right, to eh. give you your exact rate they probably would ask you how much are you getting pero hindi naman kung ano yung nakuha mo before eh yun din ang ibibigay yeah. normally yeah. tatapatan nila siya pero tatapatan. kapag ganun kasi kapag if it's like too good to be true mm-hmm. na, ano, but, but din nito ibig ibi sabihin pagdating mo doon minsan sobra yung taas ng attrition rate yeah. ng company ibig yes. sabihin ganun siya ka toxic account mm-hmm. kaya in dire need of agent isipin, na isipin mo din oo oh, mataas nga magpasweldo mataas nga yung per month mo ikaw Kamusta naman yung tax mo, di ba? Oh, yeah, correct. So, ganun din, wala din, mapupunta lang din lahat ng malaking sweldo mo dun sa tax. So, why stay na lang dun sa pinanggalingan mo kaysa mahasil ka pa, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sipin mo to sa JO mo, sabi mo, bigyan niyo ako ng 23,000. Parang mm-hmm. ganun. Pero ang toto, 18,000 package. Plus allowance. Plus allowance. To make it 23. Yeah, hindi naman kasi talaga siya yung yeah. basic. Uh, hindi, hindi siya yung ano, no, ang tawag doon, gross pay yung binibigay nila sa ano, gross pay. Kumang <laughs> 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 tuwa ka na eh, hawak ko na yung mo. Pero, when you start na take in calls, yung, uh, um, kung ano man ang cut off ng sahod nyo, kung anong araw nyo naman nakukuha, kung Friday, Friday, or 15.30, Isipin mo yun. Pag nabawasan ka ng tax, bayad, uh, bayad bills, uh, mm, yeah. kung ano man yung binabayaran mo, 
Mm-hmm. At saka yun, 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 you pay attention yeah. dun sa asterisk mm-hmm. on top of something na for example, uh, ganito yung yung salary mo per month. May asterisk yun normally in demand. Yes. Terms and conditions apply. Mm-hmm. Okay, ito yung signing bonus. Mm-hmm. Minsan yun na nakalagay doon, nag-glaring na 40,000 signing bonus. Pero nakalagay doon, you have to stay within the company for six yes, months. Yes. You have to pass certain training before you can get it. Hindi mo siya makukuha ng full ng no, isang bagsakan. Makukuha mo siya it's either uh, uh, installment. Mm-hmm. Diba? Maraming mga ganong terms and conditions. Kaya you have to be very, very um, uh, ano ba to? Uh, kailangan mas detailed ka dun sa during the interview hindi lang naman kasang interview kasi it's not just like one way na tinatanong ko lang na tinatanong you, you ask then the recruiter mm-hmm. kung parang what's in it for me in this company yeah. what can you Meron offer yung isang uh, company uh, once you pass by um, SMRA yung mga, po, yung mga poste-poste mm-hmm. makikita mo dun 62k within 3 mm-hmm. months pero basahin mo mabuti yun sa baba alit na kasulat terms and condition applies. Mm-hmm. Project based like yeah. um sa EGS may uh, seasonal account 62,000 72,000 within 3 months pero ang catch doon is half yung makukuha mo lang by the end of the contract at dapat mahit mo lahat ng metrics. Yes at wala kang babagsak kasi pag uh, bumagsak kasi yung ex ko nag-project based din yun eh so parang ang 72,000 half noon yun yung susweldohin mo each um, each payout tapos yung half noon makukuha mo pag na-meet mo lahat ng metrics pag wala kang ano so kailangan be, be ano din um, be, uh, yung um ma ma interview ka din dapat sa interviewer mo para matanong mo talaga yung terms and conditions so, maya the contract oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. the contract already kasi dahil nga sabi mo nga nabablind tayo dun yes. sa total sa gross yeah, yeah correct uh-huh. pirma na lang uh-huh. tapos yung pala ang daming terms and conditions hindi mo binasa then when you get there to the production or yung sumasweldo ka correct duma na na-realize yeah. hindi naman ito yung mm. pinangako sa akin at saka wag, wag kayo dun sa mga verbal na mga sinasabi lang yeah. nila kaya make sure it's like black and white, black and white. Yeah. kung ano yung napag-usapan ninyo nung, nung recruiter, for example, sinabi niya na night shift lang tayo or uh, dress code or mga yeah. ganito, ganito You have to look look it up dun sa, sa contract na sa-sign mo. Kasi, uh, pag nandun ka na sa production and then ginawa mo yun na nag, nag-dress down ka or whatever, sinabi, sinabi kasi niya sa akin ng recruiter eh. Minsan kasi may mga recruiter din na ganyan eh. So, sobrang desperate Para lang nila na makuha nila or mm-hmm. mag, mag-sign ka. At saka, MA, yung pandin, yung sa contract, Wag niyo basahin yung harap lang. Yeah. Everything, everything yeah. to detail. They're actually asking you to sign every page. Every page. Ba? Although overwhelming yun. Kung gusto mo kumuha pa ng lawyer ba? <laughs> Ipa-interpret. Hindi <laughs> ko nagbabasa ng kontrata sa totoo Ay, lang. Gosh. Ay, gosh. Ay, gosh. Ay, you should start yeah. reading your contract. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can also ask them na can, can I take it home or can I just yes. spend uh, more minutes? More Kasi time. minsan hindi hindi naman nila nila era rush. Okay, it's against the law naman na. Oo. Actually, hindi na hindi marami nakakaalam, pero you can even negotiate your pay. Yeah. If uh-huh. your tenure is, of course, valid or yeah. let's say qualified, you can. You, you can. You can. You can. Alam lahat ng tao yun. Yeah. You have the guts you have the to guts ask people. for hire. Yes. Diba? Yes. Once yeah. it's printed, pwede nilang i-reprint, pwede yes. nilang i-edit yun. Okay? So, yes. by the way, we have to take a break po mga ka-teammates and pag, sa pagbabalik natin, pag-uusapan pa natin all about uh, life of a call center hopper. Kasi maraming, maraming mga nakatutok ngayon. Babasahin din po natin yung mga comments. So, if you are just uh, tuning in sa ating live session, please go ahead and participate sa ating discussion. We have to take a break, mga ka-teammates. Time check in the Philippines, 7.36 a.m. Stay with us. Welcome back to Call Center Radio, mga ka-teammates. And pinag-uusapan po rin po natin in the booth, jobs, or ito, life of a call center hopper. Kasama natin ngayon in the booth, we have our guest co-host for today, Marie San Luis, and of course, our guests, Nicole Bunyao and Gregory Pascol. And by the way, Call Center Radio is now in partnership with JCI Makati. So we have few announcements, mga ka-teammates. Yes, that's right. Our uh, um, producer, uh, Sir Choi, would like to announce to all new members and baby JCs, you are all invited to attend the orientation that will be facilitated by our dear past president, Aris Balanay. The JCI Makati Hub, or HUB, helping, unifying, bridging JCs in the Philippines and beyond. Makati City has been known as Metro Manila's central business district. It boasts of hundreds of thousands of establishments, infrastructure, and even historical and cultural sites. It is also home to 50 foreign embassies, 43 consulates, 
and 17 international organizations. It is no wonder that despite its smaller land area compared to other cities, Makati City remains to be the preferred location for economic and business development. JCI Makati is no different. We may have a smaller membership base compared to other LOs, but that does not stop us from growing not only by numbers, but also by impact. We proudly present the JCI Makati Hub. Our mission is simple. H. Help fellow JCs in personal and professional growth. Unify JCs in the Philippines by providing a venue and opportunity for learning and fellowship. B. Bridge current and future JCs to create positive social change. It's happening every Wednesday. JCI Makari is sponsoring a hub night. Again, that's HUB night from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Ramen Metro, uh, Finlandia Street, Makati City. The hub night uh, consists of one-hour learning events on various topics such as entrepreneurship, leadership, goal-setting, branding, communication, sales and marketing, among many others. The learning event is followed by a fellowship where JCs, old and new, can network, exchange ideas, and form partnerships for a minimal entrance fee of 50 pesos with a 20% discount on delicious Japanese food by Ramen Metro. Pay as you order basis. The Hub Night is sure to make your Wednesday nights enriching and memorable. For more information, contact JCI Makati through President Pocholo Sertroid Voice Master Gonzalez. That's 0906-214-3888 or... Executive Vice President Earl Leonard Sebastian or Vice President Kurt Soliman, Secretary General Casey Cordova, PP Aris Balanay, and join us and let's have fun. Yes, may na po kayo mga katimates, ang dami niyang sinabi, pero tuwang-tuwa ako dun sa H. Halatang Australian ako. Hindi ko napigilan, sorry. H, mate. Anyway, so going back, meron pong mga nakatutong ngayon sa ating live session. Let's go ahead and read some of their um, comments or mga ano nila dito. Uh, go ahead, Marie. Um, yeah, there's one question from Javel Tonko. So, tina, kasi pinag-uusapan natin yan earlier with Frank, ano yung red flags saka sa nakikita? Yeah. So, yung red flags kasi, that's internal, eh, di ba? It's an internal process where the reason why we do that is to let the stakeholders in the company know that we've identified this person na medyo alanganin. Mm-hmm. Pero it doesn't get out to the other companies. Tama, di ba? Yes, yeah. that's correct. Confidential naman kasi talaga yes. yung details. Na, may nagtanong nga rin sa akin, eh, na parang uh, malalaman po ba ng ganito na ganito yung, ito yung naging case ko sa company kaya ako umalis or whatever. Sa company kasi namin, uh, if ever man na magba-background check, what they normally do, they would call yung company and then tatanungin lang nila noon kung ano yung, uh, kung naging employee nyo ba talaga si ganito, ganyan-ganyan. Tatanong- yung company namin, uh, what they will provide is only your tenure. Okay, he's been an employee from ganitong year, hanggang ganitong year, pero kung ano man yung mga details talaga na sobrang, lalo na kapag it's a scandalous uh, issue, uh, nandun pa rin yung confidentiality na hindi pa rin talaga niya ilalabas. Kasi of course, they they, they want to give you uh, a second chance mm-hmm. to move on with your life. Kasi kung, ano mo yun, lalo pa ibibring down yung tao. <laughs> so, anong gusto nyo? Walang maging trabaho yung tao after nung umalis sa company ninyo. So, i- so yung po, yung mga natatakot ngayon na oh, baka ganito kasi yung mangyari, mga ganyan, just keep on applying, di ba? Kasi meron at meron talaga sa'yo magbibigyan ng second chance. Uh, may mga nakatutok pa rin sa ating live session and then they are also saying hi may mga nagpapabati sabi hi Marisa and Luis kaya pala familiar ka sa Epic Star kasi before <laughs> office mates tayo sabi ni Michael Jan Fabian hello good morning we also have uh, PM Valera Garcia Nicole pa shout out uh, Nicole shout out shout out shout out so ayun um, so if you are just joining in we are actually live on Facebook and on YouTube from 6am till 8am but right after this show it will be re-uploaded or the the, the the rebroadcast will be uploaded so you can still watch kung ano yung manangyari nun sa start I suggest you rewatch it kasi sobrang daming uh, <laughs> ang daming mga nireveal doon na uh, first time namin ginawa sa show kasi sila naman yung nag-name drop ng mga companies <laughs> <laughs> Oh so, so let, let's talk about pala yung mga ano kasi may nagtatanong diba what if nag-merge na yung company mm-hmm. for example nabili na ni, ni sino ba let's have an example yes Alorica 
Alorica. Oh, si Alorica, di ba? Nabili niya na si EGS. So, kaya naman para nag-merge na sila. So, Alorica is now the, the EGS. Paano yung mga employee nun ni EGS nun? Nakikita, lalabas pa rin ba sa record nila? Or should they still declare it as EGS or Alorica na ba? Or uh, mahabol pa rin ba kung nagkaroon sila ng mga cases? Or is it like parang gun as ano na? Mm. Parang ano na to? Clear na? Well, resume-wise, you still put the name of the company as it was when you were employed. Yes. Okay. Right? But if we're talking about declaring, you should still, kasi yes, makikita pa rin yan. Mm-hmm. Transparency. Rin. Yes. Saka, syempre, when a merge on company, everything merges. It may take some time, siguro pagbago, baka hindi pa makita, but in the long run, they will. Mm-hmm. So yes, um, kasi that was one of the questions that was asked by our viewers earlier. So makikita siya definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, may mga na-experience ba kayo na ganyan? Um, Ako Nicole? wala pa, kasi plano kong bumalik ng EGS. So dahil iniisip ko, uh, eh, bago na siya, iba na yung may ari. Pag Mm-mm. bumalik ba ako, pag nag-apply ako dito sa Alabang Alorica, hindi makikita. Uh, okay. So nagtanong ako sa recruiter from EGS mismo, sabi ko, makikita po ba? Sabi niya, oo, makikita yan. Yeah, okay. Hindi man ngayon, pero makikita, baka ma-pull out ka pa. Mm-hmm. Lalo na kung nag-immediate ka or nag-awul ka. Nag-awul. So there are some companies now, MA and Frank, what they do is they start, pag yung nag-merge, they start re-evaluating the two one files and check yeah. yung mga bawat employees, like missing requirements, things like that, and missing background check. So, yun nga, it may not be now, kunyay, bagong merge, but in the future, definitely will. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially okay. sa, ba, yung mga nagtatanong sa mga back pay, uh, halimbawa yung mga hindi pa nagpa-clearance from EGS, Valor ka, um, from our own experience, kasi si wife, uh, EGS, mm-hmm. or West, 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 tapos yeah. na alori ka na ngayon, yeah. di ba? Mm-hmm. So, nung time na magpapakiran siya, ang, ang lumalabas pa rin naman is West. Mm-hmm. Pero pag mag apply ka, um, alori ka na. Pero, it would take you time uh, para maka-start nung um, uh, training mo. It's because they're going to check um, all the details first. Okay, yeah. Hanapin pa nila yung previous TL mo kung andun pa. Let's talk about the, the back pay. Pag umalis ka ba prematurely sa isang company, may yes. back pay at ma- may back pay ka pa rin na makukuha. Yes. Ako, to be honest, nung EGS ako, nag-uwol ako, diba? Um, nagpa-clearance ako after three months. Nakuha ko. Okay, yeah. Sa Saitel, Diyos ko dahil, one year, and, one year plus na akong wala. <laughs> wala na <parang>. <laughs> <laughs> one year plus na akong wala sa site and nagpaklilans ako, nakuha ko pa yung matto ko sa kanila, in fairness. Mm. So, may mga may nagtatanong din sa amin. Yung parang sa call center group, may nagtatanong, pag nagpaba pag nagpaklearan ba ako kahit matagal na kahit 5 years pa yan makukuha ko ba? Yeah. Oo, yes, makukuha yes. niyo. Mm-hmm. Actually ako, um, si Telus talaga hinabol ko. Um, ba tumatakbo? Yung... Charot. Hinabol <laughs> 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 ko yung back pay ko. Um, almost uh, four years dati ako pabalik-balik. Tinatamad lang ako. Tinatamad uh-huh. lang ang tapusin kasi Uh, punta ka sa ganitong site, punta ka sa ganitong mm. site. Tedious bank clearance process? Kasi ako never ko na-experience magpa-clearance. <laughs> ha? Is it like tedious na yung iba kasi hindi na nagpapa-clearance? Oo. Mas mahirap ba siya kaysa sa hiring? Or Totoo, mas to- mahirap. Paano, mas paano mas mahirap? Kasi may papel na bibigay sa'yo, magpapasign ka, eh, may may oras lang. Um, yung oras lang na pwede magpa-clearance yes. kasi yung HR. Tapos, what if yung TL mo before or trainer mo before, anong oras yung shift or mamaya off niya, so babalik at babalik ka. Yeah. yeah okay. Saan yung, yung back pay mo pa kukunin pa sa gantong site, sa gantong yes. gantong? Ilan, ilan na magsasign uh, dun sa paper na yun? TL, sample. manager? <laughs> Oo, ganun, mga sampo. F- finance, IT, mm. deliverables if you hold a position in the company. Yes. Um, ang dami MA. Uh, uh, may, may, may facilities pa yan. Yes, diba? yeah. Even facilities na hindi mo naman nakaka-interact palagi. <laughs> Pipin mo din sila. Na- oh, okay. Yeah. Kasi what if may mga nabasag kang mugs yeah. or mga ganun may mga ke- may mga nasira kang microwave <laughs> ganun ba yun? kasi <laughs> sa sobrang wala akong idea sa, sa clearance sa uh, back pay um, di ba may papa- magugulat ka na lang um, may papasok sa ATM mo uh, hindi totoo yung sinasabi ng ah, 3,000, 2,000 na lang makukuha mo sa back pay mo yeah uh. Uh, from my own experience nakasahod ako kay Telus before ng isang cut-off. So, hindi ko ninabol. Um, after two years, saka ko lang na-realize, try ko kayo magpa- clearance. magpa-clearance yeah, kay clearance. Telus. Which is, um, yun nga, ginawa ko siya for almost four years. Uh, kasi, 
uh, yung TL ko before at saka team manager ko wala na nag-resign na rin. Yeah. So mas mas naging challenge. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, so HR ka na nag nag sa HR na lang. Mm-hmm. Kung ano man yung naging overtime mo or kung ano man yung naging last um, hours mo ang ibibigay na lang sa iyo. Basic. Uh, basic na lang. No. Wala na yung ibang compensation. Yeah, kasi no one can actually vouch kung ano yeah. man yung mga nangyari doon, di ba? Let's talk about yung mga, ano, mga, mga SSS, mga ganun. Na, 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 nalilipat ba siya agad? Or, kasi feeling ko, isa yung sa mga pinaka-stressful, eh, no? kapag lilipat-lipat ka ng company, na, or pa, lalo na kapag may gap, yeah. mm. paano yung mga, yung mga ganun palang mga, mga agencies, like pag-ibig, whatever? That may, depends may kasi on how the company pays. Kasi minsan nagsasamit sila quarterly, yes. yeah, minsan okay. may monthly. But as long as you're employed, that specific cutoff, dapat they should still submit it to SSS. Uh, if you were um, still an employee dun sa company nila. Okay. Yun nga lang, there are still some companies, yun nga, na hindi na yahabol. Yun lang ang minsan mm-hmm. nagiging issue. Okay, yun. perfect. So well, let's give ano na lang, uh, last... Um, pieces of advice dun sa ating mga viewers ngayon, listeners na, na parang they are actually on the verge of like resigning o kaya naman they are actually doing that, the, the call center hopping or job hopping, na parang what can you tell them na parang hindi na nila pagdaanan kung, or kung, para makahanap sila ng fulfillment or ano ba to? <laughs> any any motivational or any inspirational uh, words from you guys? Um, sa akin, based on sa experience ko, na yun nga, um, isipin mo muna ng mabuti kung ano ba talagang gusto mo. Yeah. Kasi hindi ka magtatagal sa isang company. I always say this when it comes to interview. Um, hindi ako magtatagal sa isang company kung hindi ko mahal yung ginagawa ko. So, kailangan mahalin mo yung trabaho mo. Yun ang pinakauna. At mahalin mo yung trabaho, uh, yung, yung company itself. Kasi kung mahal mo lang yung trabaho mo, yung company pan hindi mo mahal ay I'm sure hindi ka magtatagal. Mm-hmm. Kailangan You're not mahal. Proud, no? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mahal din mo ko anong um in offer sa iyo. Did you learn anything from the experience of being with 10 companies mm-hmm. plus? Yeah. If oh. anything that uh, if there's anything na merong salamin sa harapan mo ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> na natutunan mo na parang sana um sana hindi ko na lang ginawa or whatever. Mm-hmm. Parang hindi na nila gawin. Uh-huh. Siguro yung hindi ako nagsistay ng company. Yun nga, yung nagsistay ng company. Parang iniisip ko lang, ah, magte-training lang ako kasi kailangan ko lang ng pampalipas oras. Yeah. Ganyan. So, huwag yun ang gayahin pa. Wag, kasi ang pangit sa resume, makikita at makikita. Dumadating sa point na may kita ng isang company, mapupull out ka na lang. Baka maban ka pa sa company na yun. Hindi ka makabalik. Right. Thank you so much, candidate number one. <laughs> <laughs> Isipin din natin, um, yung call center industry is may organization yan. Mas mahirap ma blacklist yeah and ako naman based on experience mahirap talaga yung apply ka ng apply yung mag-iisip ka kung paano may uh, papa, yoy, papasa yung re, yung requirements and yung interview mo kaya tama yung sina, tama yung isipin mo muna yung uh, isipin mo muna yung mga actions mo again sa resigning kasi once you resign, dahil sa sabihin mo, uh, company ko kasi ganito, kaganda. Company ko kasi gan- meron ganito. Don't compare na. Yeah. Once you earn the company uh, ngayon, kung asang ka mang company, eh, utang na loob, doon ka na. Stick to it. Stick na. to it because hinahanap mo pala yung company before kasi may mga facilities na ganito. Eh, ang tanong, bakit ka nag-resign? <laughs> kung nang dahil, kung nang dahil sa TL mo, kaya ka mag-resign or Dahil si Barkada mo, ka-teammate mo, solid. Yeah. Eh, sabi niya, solid tropa to. Mag, uh, solid tropa nga. Pero, paano yung mga pinapakain mo sa bahay? Paano yung mga pang-araw-araw na gastos mo kung nag-resign ka? Kasi, oo, masaya ka pa. Andiyan yung isang cut-off na sahod mo na hindi mo pag ginagalaw. Pero, once na nagalaw mo yan at wala kang trabaho at nag-resign ka sa company, walang tutulong sa'yo. Kaya, tama yung, sina- uh, tama yung mahalin mo yung company mo yung company mo, everything will follow. Yeah. Tsaka yun nga, b- before kayo umalis, kailangan meron muna kayong pupuntahan, mm-hmm. diba? Yes. Just to be sure, or meron kayong emergency fund sure. to make sure, diba? Tsaka yun, do not leave your, your the, the company just because na may hindi ka lang nakakasundo or mga very small things na, kasi what if may encounter mo ulit yun dun sa next company mo and then, kaya nagkakaroon ng hop, hopping kasi nga parang they keep on encountering the same issues mm-hmm. kasi, kasi wala naman talagang perfect yeah. company, walang perfect project, right. perfect yeah. boss. And for each of your 
experience, find a learning, mm-hmm. de ba? Para may apply mo sa next company mo. I believe that we are all after for stability yes. and uh, it comes with maturity and discipline. Hindi pwedeng ganitong months lang and then all that. Yeah. It, think of the longer, long run. Long ano? run. Yun yung kailangan nating isipin if we're, we really want to climb up the ladder of yes. mm-hmm. the yung, kaya yung panahon, di ba? How about mm-hmm. you? Um, well, definitely. Because when you're when you're applying in a company, you're investing as well, eh. Like yeah, you invest time, effort, yeah. Diba? Time, yung pamasahe to do the interview and whatnot. So, think about the company that you're applying for. Research muna. Don't just go and apply. Ay, yeah. pasok ako dito kasi nakalagay hiring. Diba? Yes. Ganon, test na natin. Because this is the reason why you'll be unsatisfied. Dahil hindi na set ang expectations mo as yun dun ka papasok sa company yun. Find out. Ask around. There's a lot of resources nowadays. Diba? Mm-hmm. And final word nga pala, para sa mga newbie. Um, kung gusto nyo itong industry na to, um, go for it. Huwag nyo isipin na tenure yung kasabay mo. Mm-hmm. Be yourself. Huwag yeah. kang ma-intimidate ma- dahil, ah, si kuya, tenure. Yeah. Tsaka yung iba naiingit kasi sila sa malaki na yung sweldo ng kabatch mm-hmm. nila, kaya hahabulin nila yon. Oh, ganito na pala siya. More than ganito na pala yung kinikita oh, niya. Oh. Hahanap siya ng company na ganyan. So, you're, you're not actually, you're, you're adjusting based on other people's ano kasi, di ba? Oh. Nasa sarili naman natin yung mga satisfaction natin, di ba? Minsan kahit na hindi naman kataas yung sweldo mo, if you're really happy with the people that you're working okay. with, it's mm-hmm. fine. If it's like closer to where you live, it's fine, di ba? Mm-hmm. As long as nandun yung peace of mind. Kasi yun yung hindi nababayaran ng kahit anong sweldo and compensation. So, it's a very nice conversation, guys. I really enjoyed our uh, episode for today. Do you have, like, uh, quick greetings lang sa ating mga live viewers sa alam kong, kanina, mga nak- nakasubaybay. Ito, ang daming mga fans at bashers. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Nicole. Uh, may mga babating ka. Um, hi lang sa mga taga performance lalo na sa mga taga Telstra, um, complaints department. Hi. Tapos, hi din sa jowa ko. Kay Aaron, hi. <laughs> alam kong galit, alam kong galit ka kasi umalis ako pero hi pa din. <laughs> uh, ako, shout, uh, shout out sa wife ko na iniwan ko sa bahay. Na sinabi, na sinabi ko isasama ko dito. <laughs> Oo, sana kasi sinabi. Honda Bells ako kanina. Um, ah, galing ka pa ng chef? Galing ako ng chef around 2. Naka- nakarating ako sa bahay ng 3. Sabi ko, idlit lang ako pero... Uh, alas 5 na nung nagising ako. Honda Bells ako pagpunta dito. Shout, shout out nga pala sa mga kagrupo ko sa riding community. Uh, YM3CP uh, Sector 6 ng uh, Kainta, Rizal, Marikina at uh, sa buong RG community. Maganda umaga po sa inyo lahat. Yeah, good morning. Go good ahead. Morning. Uh, may mga ipopromote ka, uh, Mama Ni. Ay, wala pa naman ako ipopromote. Nakatulad mo. <laughs> Mas marami ka ngayon sponsors. Pero I just want to say thank you for those that, um, for, first and foremost, thank you and also to Frank for inviting me to co-host with you today. Um, and then also just uh, hello to my uh, fellow colleagues in uh, Converges. Mm-hmm. And then also my readers ng aking blog, mamanisnest.com. They're also watching. So nakakatawa lang. Yes, Mama Ni. Yeah. Yes. And how about you, Frank. Yeah, hello sa lahat na nakakilala sa akin. Especially <laughs> sa family. More racket, uh, no? More oh, racket, more fun. And um, uh, for your professional hosting need, whether it be a corporate or a social event, you can always count on me. You can like my official Facebook page that's Events Hosting by Frank Rizzo. You can search me on Facebook or Instagram just by um, uh, typing The Terrific Host. Uh, yeah. At uh, on pa din po ang The Bridal Fair. Bridal Fair ng Here Comes Thy Guide Season 2 sa Tagaytay International Convention. We're on our second day today. Yes. Wow. Oh. And magpa-member po kayo dun sa aming call center radio network kasi we are actually looking for guests na naman sa ating mga future episodes. We are actually planning to have an episode regarding infidelities, uh, infidelity issues in the call center or for, for kung may mga nakakaalam or kung may mga gusto mag-share <laughs> ng kanilang stories or yung mga nagbago na or whatever. I, I'm not sure kung paano magmamaterialize ang episode na yun, but I hope we can have as bolder, as may better topics to come in our show. So again, dalawang oras na naman po ng inspiration mo motivation and empowerment ang nagdaan dito sa call center radio which is now in partnership with JCI Makati jcimakati.org for, uh, just go ahead and visit that if you know, if you need more details and of course this program is made to you or brought to you by Pochology Academy and Creative Voices Productions headed by the voice master of the Philippines Sir Pocholo de Leon Gonzalez and muli kami po ang inyong mga katimates sa BPO I am your call center vlogger my name is M.A. Buendia and I am your events host katimate the terrific host Frank Rizzo. So, 
Hello. Ta- uh, <laughs> and this is Marie San Luis. Marie San Luis Tanya get well soon. See you next week and see you next week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the uh, the author's voice right coming after the break. Okay, bye. Bye. It's here, the only radio talk show made specially for all workers of the call center industry. Call Center Radio. It aims to become a platform for conversation about anything related to the call center industry. We'll have different guests every week to discuss some tips, advices, and share inspiring stories of BPO employees. Call Center Radio. Call Center Radio. Hosted by N.A. Buendia, Frank Rizzo, and Tanya Sempron. Every Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m. Only here at DZRJ, 8.10 a.m. H.R.I. Media, ang himpila ng bawat Pilipino. H.R.I. Media, DZRJ, ang himpila ng bawat Pilipino.